The blood of Jesus was the ultimate last card God used to destabilize the devil and his cohorts. The devil thought he had won the battle already when he made the first man and woman sin. God showed the devil that he has the final say and that final say was enforced by the blood. Revelation 5.12 says, Worthy is the Lamb that was slain to receive power, riches, wisdom, strength, honor, glory, and blessing. Jesus is the Lamb that was slain for the redemption of mankind. And his blood redeemed and justified man from death, sin, and the grave. The blood of Jesus speaks a better thing than the blood of Abel. The blood of Abel speaks of vengeance while the blood of Jesus speaks of redemption and love. You need to realize that the blood of Jesus is a weapon in your arsenal and you need to harness it in enforcing the victory that was effected over 2000 years ago. The Bible says in Revelation 12, 11, that they overcame the devil, the old serpent, by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony. It is high time you enforce the victory that you have been given by using the blood of Jesus effectively. Bow your heads as we pray together in faith. In the name of Jesus, I plead the blood of Jesus over your life and families. I pray that the blood of Jesus will cover you from the attacks of evil ones. And by the power in the name of Jesus, I appropriate the blood of Jesus against all the forces of darkness that are around you and your family. The blood of Jesus will neutralize the devil and his cohorts attack against you in the name of Jesus. I decree that the blood that was shed over 2,000 years ago will heal any member of your family that has one ailment or the other in the name of Jesus. There is potency when we plead the blood of Jesus over our lives and right now I begin to plead the blood of Jesus over all the pertains to you and your family in the name of Jesus. When the angel saw the blood on the doorpost of the Israelites, he passed over. By the reason of the blood of Jesus, I decree that the angel of death that had been sent to cut short the life of any member of your family will pass over and he would not hurt anyone in the name of Jesus. The blood of Jesus breaks foundational curses. I pray that the blood of Jesus will begin to break all strange patterns and curses in your life and family in the name of Jesus. Ephesians 1 7 says, in him we have redemption through his blood and forgiveness of our trespasses according to the riches of his grace. I therefore pray for you that the redemptive power in the blood of Jesus will save all members of your family that are yet to be saved in the name of Jesus. Your robe will be washed in the blood of the Lamb. Nothing will contaminate your holiness again in the name of Jesus. As a result of the blood that was shed, all your sins that you might still be feeling guilty for are forgiven and you walk in the forgiveness that has been given to you in Jesus' name. I decree that the blood of Jesus will bruise the enemy's head that are bent on frustrating all your efforts in Jesus' name. You are no longer scared because the blood of the Lamb has given you the boldness to come against the powers of darkness. Hebrews 12, 24 says, And to Jesus, the mediator of a new covenant, and to the sprinkled blood, which speaks better than the blood of Abel. The blood of Jesus, which speaks better thing than the blood of Abel, will save you and protect you from the wicked ones that are plotting your fall in Jesus' name. I decree that the blood of Jesus will exempt you from falling into the traps and pits of the devil and his cohorts in Jesus' name. You and your members of your family are ensured by the blood of Jesus against sudden destruction and catastrophe in the name of Jesus. I pray for you that the blood of Jesus will wipe off all the evil marks of the enemies that are upon you and your family. That which was stolen from you is restored in a hundredfold by the power in the blood of Jesus. I decree that the blood of Jesus will protect your family 
from evil strangers that want to intrude on the peace and the unity of your family by the power in the name of Jesus. All the things that are not planted by God in your life are purged out of you by the blood. I use the blood of Jesus as a currency and purchasing all the hidden treasures of darkness for you in Jesus name. You need the blessing of the Lord in your family, that your family will be like the house that is built on the rock, which when storms came, still remains and is never shaken. The word of God says that you have been blessed with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places. So your family is blessed and no power of darkness should be able to hijack the blessings it has. We will be releasing the blessing of the Lord over our families. Just as the Bible says in Exodus 23 verse 24, Worship the Lord your God and his blessing will be on your food and water. I will take away sickness from among you. The blessing of the Lord in your family will cause your food and drinks to be blessed and it will also take sickness away from you. Let us pray. Father, we thank you Lord Jesus for blessing our families with all the good things in life. Thank you, Lord, for never allowing us to be naked or stranded. We exalt your name, Lord, for blessing us with all the blessings in heavenly places. We thank you for giving us all that pertain to life and godliness. According to your word in Psalm 34 verse 8, that you should taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the one who takes the refuge in him. I pray for you according to the word of God that your family will always taste and see that the Lord is good and your family will be blessed as it takes refuge in God in the name of Jesus. According to the word of God in Psalm 23 verses 1 to 2, which said, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. It makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. By the word of God, I pray for you that your family will always make the Lord their shepherd and they would not lack anything in the name of Jesus. The grace of the Lord would always abound in your family in the name of Jesus. I decree over you that goodness and mercy are following your family from this time forth and even forevermore in Jesus name. 2 Corinthians chapter 9 verse 8 says, God is able to bless you abundantly so that in all things at all times, having all that you need, you will abound in every good work. I pray for your family that the Lord will bless it abundantly and it will be sufficient in all things at all times in the name of Jesus. And I pray that your family will be willing and obedient and will eat the good of the land in the name of Jesus. Your family will be a beacon of hope to other families and the light of God in your family will shine for other families of the world to see in Jesus' name. Mercy, peace and love will abound much more in your family in the name of Jesus. God will be the strength of your family and he will make the feet of every member of your family like that of the deer and he will cause you to tread on great heights in the name of Jesus. Deuteronomy 15, 6 says, God will bless you as he has promised and he will lend to many nations, but you will borrow from none. You will rule over many nations, but none will rule over you. I decree over your family that it will lend to many nations in Jesus' name. And I also decree over your family that it is enriched in every way so that it is generous on every occasion by the power in the name of Jesus. I release the rain of abundance on your family. There will not be lack in your family in the name of Jesus. God your Father will bless your family so that all the ends of the earth will fear him in the name of Jesus. The Lord will bless your family with peace and will give it strength in the name of Jesus. The love in your family will wax stronger and stronger and no force will break that bond in the name of Jesus. The Lord will delight in your family and will always put a new song on the lips of every member of your family. I decree over your family that God will work in your family both well and do of his good pleasure in the name of Jesus. 
he would never withhold good things from your family. The Lord will bestow favor and honor upon your family in the name that is above every other name, Jesus. We bless your name, Lord Jesus, for answering all our prayers. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Your family is a weapon that God would use to enforce his agenda on the earth. And this is the foremost reason your family must be in tune with what God is doing per time and season. The devil and his cohorts will try their best to frustrate the will of God for your family by causing many mishaps that will make you think that God is no longer in the business of taking care of your family. But that should not shake you. Rather, it should make you stronger knowing that God is still in the business of doing miracles, signs and wonders in families. It is needed for you to know that the will of God for your family is that they prosper and be in health. You have to pray for your family so that your family will be stable and also enjoy all the benefits that have been reserved for it in Christ Jesus. The Word of God says in Mark 11, 24 that whatever you desire when you pray, believe that you have received them and you shall have them. The effectual fervent prayer of the righteous avails much. Your prayer will turn things around in your family if you do that with faith. So let's pray together for our families with a strong conviction, believing that the Lord will hear and answer us. Let's pray. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord, for making our families live in peace, unity and stability. We give you the praise, Lord, for always providing for our needs. You come through for us in ways that are far beyond our imagination and expectations. Lord, we extol your name for never allowing the wicked ones to triumph over our families. And you always cover the nakedness of our family. Glory be to your name, Lord. Father, we ask that you forgive us in any way our families have done things that are contrary to your will for us. We plead for your mercy over our families in Jesus' name. And in the name of Jesus, we ask for you, Lord, that you will purpose or enforce in our families. Colossians 3, 14 says, Over all these virtues put on love which binds them all together in perfect unity. I pray that there is love much more in your family. There is no more strife and contention in your family in the name of Jesus. The plans of the wicked ones against your family will fall to the ground in the name of Jesus. As Psalm 133 verse 1 says, How good and pleasant it is when God's people live together in unity. I pray for your family that all the members of your family will dwell in unity among themselves in the name of Jesus. There will be no more divisions among members of your family in the name of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus over your family. The Lord will build an edge around your family and this will prevent the evil ones from having access to your family in the name of Jesus. I pray that the Lord will supply all the needs of your family according to his riches in glory in Christ Jesus. The word of God says in Psalm 23 verse 1, The Lord is our shepherd and you shall not want. I pray for your family that the Lord would always lead your family to green pastures in the name of Jesus. Where men have talked down on your family due to the present circumstances, they will begin to celebrate your family in the name of Jesus. Psalm 5 verse 12 says, God encompasses the righteous with favor as a shield. I hereby pray for your family that the Lord will cause your family to experience strange dimensions of favor that would beat the imagination of man and will make you amazed in the name of Jesus. The path of your family is like a shining light which shines brighter and brighter even unto the perfect day in the name of Jesus. I cancel and put 
to null and void all the devices of the wicked ones against your family. The blessing of the Lord in your family will make your family rich and no form of sorrow will be attached to it in the name of Jesus. I pray for your family that it will begin to lay gold as dust in all ramifications. Your family will be a perfect model for other families to emulate in the name of Jesus. The mercy of the Lord would always be sufficient for your family. I pray for all members of your family that they discover well and purpose of God for them in the name of Jesus. The good Lord will replace the garment of sorrow with the garment of rejoicing in Jesus name. The most dangerous enemy of every man is the enemies within his household. The Bible also says it and it made it clear in Matthew 10:36 that a man's enemies will be those of his own household. This shows that sometimes we might be troubled or distressed by family members who don't want good things to come to you. You do not have to pretend that you do not know that the affliction you might be going through is not from an external force but an internal one. Now is the time to come put these household enemies in their place. Do not pity them because they will not repent. Remember that only the violent can take that which was stolen from them by the wicked ones who sometimes are household enemies. Do not forget that in Job 22 verse 28 that you will decree a thing on earth and it shall be established unto you. A light will shine upon your path. Utilize the authority you have in the name of Jesus to come against these wicked forces. So let us pray together in faith. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you that all household enemies that are troubling you are arrested. The word of God says in Psalm 35 verse 1 that the Lord will contend against those that are contending against you and will fight against those that are fighting against you. In the name of Jesus, I engage the help of the Holy Ghost to fight against all the household enemies that are fighting against you. By the power in the name of Jesus, I pray for you that the Lord will rescue you from the grip of household enemies. Exodus 23 verse 22 says, But if you will carefully obey his voice and do all things that I say, then I will be an enemy to your enemies and an adversary to your adversaries. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you that the Lord will be an enemy to all household enemies that are troubling you. Psalm 23 verse 6 says, God prepares a table before you in the presence of your enemies. I pray for you that the Lord will keep on supplying all your needs, even in the presence of your household enemies. In Jesus' name, I decree over you that you will not be susceptible to the attacks of household enemies in the name of Jesus. I pray for you that you will put on the whole armor of God so that you will be able to withstand the walls of the household wickedness in Jesus name. I draw the bloodline around you and all the members of your family against the attacks of the wicked ones in disguise as friends. I release the host of heaven to begin to fight against all the wicked ones that are disturbing the peace of your family in the name of Jesus. The Lord will go ahead of you and destroy all the devices of the wicked ones that are stationed in your family. The word of God says in Exodus 14, 14, the Lord will fight for you and you will hold your peace. I pray for you that the Lord's wrath will be revealed against all household wickedness in Jesus name. And I also decree that you are safe and secure from the world's household enemies will shoot at you in Jesus Jesus name you will keep on triumphing over the devices and schemes of the wicked ones positioned in your family I pray that you are discerning enough to know all the household enemies that are disguised in themselves to be good Isaiah 19:2 says and I will tear up Egyptians against Egyptians and they will fight each other against another and each other against his neighbor city against city kingdom against kingdom In the name of Jesus I pray for you that all household enemies will begin to fight against themselves. 
You will be wise as a serpent and gentle as a dove when dealing with the wicked ones that are stationed in your family. In Jesus' name. And right now I decree that the judgment of the Lord will rest on all the household wickedness. I decree that all the pieces of machinery of wicked ones in your family are rendered useless. All the divination, enchantment, spell and incantations against you from household enemies would not stand in Jesus name. Firstborn sons have always been targets of the enemy. We've seen it over and over repeated in the scripture. And therefore, it's so clear that the enemy is after sons. And so today, if you have a son or you know you are a firstborn son, I want you to stand up in agreement with me and nullify every pattern that seems to be repeated in your life, especially if you realize that it's happening like it happened to your father. Reject it from the scriptural point of view and by the power that is in the name of Jesus and watch how God will change your life for good. So let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you. We thank you, Lord, because you are the good God. There is no God as good as you are. Heaven and earth shall pass away, the word of God says, but your word will never ever pass. You are God from beginning to the end and there is no place for argument. And therefore, Father, we thank you for the sons that are under the sound of my voice, wherever they are on the face of the earth. We thank you for their birth. It is not a mistake that they were born. It is not, Lord God, outside your will that they were born, no matter the circumstances. They came to receive blessings and they are supposed to be blessed. And therefore I come lifting you and your name up, knowing that Lord God, whoever wants a change in his life today begins to receive it in the name of Jesus. Well, thank you for the firstborn sons in our lives. And we thank you for the gift of them. And, and we declare because we know they have a unique role to play in the families. We ask that God Almighty by the power that's in the name of Jesus, that these sons will be guided right in the name of Jesus. They will no longer begin to walk in second fiddle even in their families in the name of Jesus. Every of the stars that the enemy has looked upon and stargazers have come against her, Father will reverse it because it is written in vain as a net that is spread against them. They are escaped from today from the snares of the fowler. The Bible says, lift up your heads, all ye gates, but lifted up ye everlasting doors and let the King of glory come in. We pray concerning the firstborn sons, every plan of the enemy every gate that has been padlocked has been placed in front of them that would make them not to pass through by the power that's in the name of Jesus we command that those gates be lifted in the mighty name of Jesus hear the word of the king because the Bible says uh, where the word of a king is there is authority by the power that's in the name of Jesus I use the authority in that name and I declare that whatever gate that has been used uh, locked against the firstborn sons under the sound of my voice today be ye lifted up in the name of Jesus Christ I declare that henceforth every of their efforts receive result and positive one in the mighty name of Jesus no longer would their second ones take their glory in the name of Jesus. The respect that is due for them, Lord God, as first sons, I decree and declare that they receive it in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. But chance any one of them has made any mistake as was with Esau, as was with Cain. The Bible says even the lawful captive shall be set free. And today because of the virtue of the blood of Jesus and they have received you, Lord God, and declared you as their Lord and Master. Father, Father, we ask that God let there be a reversal let there be a reversal because even when 
Esau lost the blessing by selling his birthright. Father, he cried out and his father said, the day you will be tired, you will break his yoke from off your neck. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, every firstborn son that is under the sound of my voice that has over the years because of his undoing caused trouble for himself and he has become like the second or the third or even the last child of the home by the virtue of his repentance today we decree and declare that that yoke be broken in the name of Jesus Christ let there be restoration no longer would they be slaves to their younger once uh, no longer would they come cup in hand uh, begging from people in the mighty name of Jesus they take up their place uh, they take up their rightful positions uh, from now henceforth Lord they are leaders even in their homes uh, they are leaders in their marketplace they are leaders in the jobs uh, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ every curse uh, it is written curse curseless shall not stand because they bear upon their face the mark of Jesus Christ every firstborn son uh, by the power of the blood of Jesus uh, we erase every negative mark on the face uh, and declare no longer shall they be tampered with uh, in the mighty name of Jesus he told everything that they have placed their hand on does not seem to prosper but here it is uh, by the virtue in the word of God the Bible says whatever they put their hands upon shall prosper because they will no longer walk in the counsel of the ungodly nor stand in the way of sinners nor sit with the scornful their delight henceforth shall be in the law of the Lord our Lord God and they will meditate in the law of the Lord and whatever they do prospers they are like trees that are planted by the streams of water they bear their fruit in season their children are blessed no longer will their children become the second fiddle in whatever thing they do do. in the name of Jesus we overturn we overturn I overturn every lie of the devil every word has been projected against them the Bible says uh, no weapon formed against us shall prosper and every tongue that rises up in judgment against them is condemned by the virtue of this word I decree in the name of Jesus that every word that has been projected against them as first sons uh, today I I reverse it uh, every weapon that has been sent against them it does not prosper in their life in the name of Jesus they will no longer toil uh, and eat as ants uh, they will not walk as elephants uh, and eat as ants again uh, in the name of Jesus they receive their honor in the sight of their parents uh, they receive their honor in the sight of their siblings uh, in the name of Jesus Christ uh, father we thank you because the blood has done it for them the blood of Jesus that speaks better things than that of Abel the one that speaks better than that of goats and bulls uh, today speaks for you in the name of Jesus as a firstborn son I decree and declare you take your rightful position in your father's house uh, you take your rightful position in your mother's house uh, in the name of Jesus No matter what the evil ones planned against you, you are exempted from them. The Word of God says in Romans 8, 28, that all things work together for good to them that love God and are called according to his purpose. This shows that no matter what the enemies plan for you, for evil, it will turn around for good. You cannot be a victim of the agenda and plots of the evil ones because you have been made more than a conqueror in Christ already. Your victory is sealed already and your life is also hidden in Christ. You are the beloved of Jesus. Therefore, what affects others in the world cannot affect you because your case is different. The word of God says in Job 5.12 that God disappoints the devices of the crafty so that their hands cannot carry out their plans. With this, you are confident that you are exempted from the agenda of the wicked ones. We will be enforcing our victory against the plans of the evil ones by using the name of Jesus. So let us pray together with all resilience and persistence in the spirit. Endeavor to join me in faith as we start praying now. 
Lord, thank you for exempting us always from the plans of the evil ones. We thank you for always giving us victory in your name. Therefore, I pray in the name of Jesus that anyone under the sound of my voice, you will not fall prey to the hands of the devil and his cohorts. The Bible says in 2 Thessalonians 3, 3, God is faithful and he will guide you from all the evil ones. I hereby pray for you that the Lord will protect and guide you and your family from the evil ones in the name of Jesus. Matthew 6, 13 says, And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil one. You will not fall into any temptation that will take you out of the will of God for you in the name of Jesus. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 24 says, The one who calls you is faithful and he will do it. The word of God is yea and amen in Christ. I pray right now that the Lord who has been faithful in times past in exempting you from the traps of the evil ones will still keep you on protecting and exempting you from the attacks and traps of the wicked ones in the name of Jesus. You will reign under God's protection forever and I decree that God's unending love and faithfulness will watch over you in the name of Jesus. Psalm 125 verse 1 says that those who trust in the Lord are like Mount Zion. It cannot be moved. It abides forever. According to the word of God, I pray and I stand in faith that you will not be moved by all the devices of the evil ones because your faith is rooted in the word of God. The good Lord will deliver you from all the enemies that are plotting evil against you and your family. In the name of Jesus, I destroy all the devices of the evil ones that they want to use to project evil against you and your family. In the name of Jesus, I decree in the mighty name of Jesus that you and all your family and loved ones would not be a victim of accident, strange ailment and sudden death. In the name of Jesus, the mark of exemption is resting upon you and when the evil ones see it, they will pass over it. The Bible says in Proverbs chapter 18 verse 10, the name of the Lord is a strong tower and the righteous runs into it and is saved. By the power in the name of Jesus, I pray for you that you will always be hidden in the name of the Lord and you will be safe and secure from the attacks of the evil ones in Jesus' name. The Lord will be your mighty rock, your fortress, your protector, the rock where you will derive maximum safety and security. He will be your shield, your powerful weapon and your place of shelter in the name of Jesus. A thousand shall fall at your side and ten thousand at your right hand, but they shall not come near you. Only with your eyes shall you behold the reward of the wicked in the land of the living. In Jesus' name, you and all members of your family will always take refuge in God in the mighty name of Jesus. Psalm 18, 39 says, the Lord has armed you with strength for battle and God has subdued all your foes beneath you. I pray for you now that the Lord would always arm you with strength and all your foes are subdued beneath you in the name of Jesus. The Lord would also be a shield around you and it will be your glory and the one who lifts up your head. You will always live in safety without any fear of the devices of the wicked ones in the name of Jesus. One thing you must know clearly and affirming your spirit is that the manipulation of the evil ones against you shall not stand. Because the word of God stated clearly in Isaiah 54 verse 17 that no weapon formed against you shall prosper and any tongue that rises in judgment against you, you shall condemn. You wield a tremendous amount of authority to thwart the manipulations of the wicked ones against you and all your family. You are seated with Christ in the heavenly places far above all principality and power. The input of this is that you are above the manipulation of the wicked ones, but you can be manipulated if you do not know your place in Christ and the authority that you carry. This is the reason you must put the devil and his cohorts in their rightful place. 
The Bible says in Job 22 verse 18, you will decree a thing on earth and it will be established to you and light will shine upon your part. This is the time where we use the authority that we wield to put an end to all satanic manipulations. So let's pray together in faith. In Jesus name I pray that all satanic manipulations in your life and families have come to an end in the name of Jesus. By the power in the name of Jesus I set you free from demonic manipulation that is at work in your family and I cancel all the negative pronouncements that were made against you in the name of Jesus. The word of God says in John 8 32 that you will know the truth and it will set you free. Since you know the truth who happens to be Jesus Christ, you are therefore free from all the forms of demonic manipulations in that name, Jesus. You are no longer entangled by the yoke of bondage in the name of Jesus. I cancel all the agenda of the evil ones to manipulate you out of the will of God for you. And I release any member of your family that has been manipulated by the evil ones in the name of Jesus. I destroy the devices of the wicked ones that they are using to manipulate you or any member of your family in Jesus name. The Bible in Exodus 22 verse 18 says we should not suffer a witch to live. In the mighty name of Jesus I put an end to all witchcraft operations that are at work in your life and your family in the name of Jesus. I pray for you that you will not be deceived and manipulated by false doctrines in the name of Jesus. The anointed of God that you carry will break the hold of the powers of darkness in your life and families in the name of Jesus. And I say that the light of God will expose the subtle operation of Satan and his cohorts in your life and in your family's life. I bring you out of every demonic prison in the name of Jesus. You will be wise as a serpent and gentle as a dove. This will help you not to be easily manipulated by the wicked ones in the name of Jesus. And I decree that you will be immune against all forms of satanic manipulations. The Lord would give you the grace not to be manipulated or cheat even anyone. I release the ministry of angels to go ahead of you to fight all the wicked ones that are assigned to manipulate and frustrate you out of the will of God for you. Psalm 23 verse 4 says that even though you walk through the valley of the shadow of death, you will fear no evil for God is with you. His rod and staff comfort you. In the name of Jesus, I decree over your life that you will not be afraid of demonic manipulations because the Lord is with you. The mercy of the Lord will exempt you from all the attempts of the wicked ones to frustrate all your efforts in Jesus name. What the enemy meant for evil will turn around for your good in the name of Jesus. And I release the judgment of the Lord on the wicked ones that have sworn that they will not eat or drink until they see your downfall in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord will fight for you against the wicked ones and you will hold your peace in the name of Jesus. The subtle attack of the wicked ones against the will and the purpose of God for you comes to an end now by the power of the name of Jesus. I decree that an end has come to witchcraft manipulation and attacks in Jesus name. You are hidden in the shadow of the mighty one. Therefore you are safe and secured from the attacks and manipulations of the devil and his cohorts in the mighty name of Jesus. Have you ever asked yourself why some strange things are happening to you that you have no explanation for? You do not need to think too far about why these things happen to you. All that you are experiencing presently might be a result of evil seeds that enemies have planted in your life that you do not know about. Our Lord Jesus Christ gave a parable of a certain farmer that went to sow seeds and whilst he was sleeping after he had sowed the seeds, the evil ones came to sow tares among the seeds. This shows that when you are least unaware or conscious, the wicked ones plant tears among the good seeds that God has planted in your life.
These seeds will choke the good things that God has planted in your life and you must not allow that to happen. Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 10 says that God has appointed you and me to be a prophet over nations and kingdoms. We are to uproot, break down, destroy, overthrow, build and plant. But for today, we'll be focusing on uprooting all the evil things the wicked ones have planted in your life. Are you ready? As we will be doing these together in faith and with all intentionality. Let's pray. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you and anyone under the sound of my voice that everything that is at work in you that is against the will of God for you is uprooted this instant. I use the blood of Jesus to purge out all the evil things that the enemies have deposited in your life in the name of Jesus. Everything that is in you that is making you lose sight of who you are in Christ is eradicated now in the name of Jesus. The Bible says in Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 2 that there is a time to plant and also a time to uproot. This is the acceptable time to uproot all that God has not planted in your life. Therefore I begin to uproot poverty, shame, disgrace, failure, stagnation, lack, embarrassment, generational curse, diseases and all things that are are against the will of God for you in the name of Jesus. By the power in the name of Jesus, I pray that the seeds that were planted in your life due to your negligence are uprooted now and also uproot all the evil things that were planted in your life due to the wrong agreement your parents entered with the wicked ones in the past in the name of Jesus. The word of God says that whatever God has not planted in your life will be uprooted. Right now, I call on the help of God to begin to uproot all the things that he did not plant in your life in the name of Jesus. Anything the wicked one has fed you with in your dream that has contaminated your soul and body is expelled out of you in the name of Jesus. The word of God cleanses you. The word of God is Jesus and is at work in you. He will begin to cleanse all the negative things that are contrary to to the will of God for you in the name of Jesus. I decree in the name of Jesus that any seed that has corrupted your mindset which is making you doubt the promises of God for you is removed this instant in the name of Jesus. Jeremiah 45 verse 4 says that what God has built he will tear down and what he has planted he will uproot. I therefore pray that all the things that are in your life that were planted by God but now working against you are uprooted right now in the name of Jesus. I pray that all the wicked ones that have planted evil seeds in your family consistently will be uprooted from the land of the living. The word of God says in Matthew 13, 29 to 30, that the tears will be separated from the wheat and burnt. I pray that all the things that are working against the fulfillment of your purpose and destiny are separated from the good things that God has prepared for you and they are burnt in the name of Jesus. All the insurmountable mountains that are standing on your path to greatness are uprooted and thrown into abyss in the name of Jesus. By the power in the name of Jesus, the seeds of the wicked ones that are in your life and that of your families that make you stray away from the will of God for you are uprooted and destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus. Love and mercy are important ingredients in our walk with God and our relationship with the people around us. God has shed abroad His love in our hearts through the Holy Spirit and His mercies towards us are new every morning. The love that God has for you and me is infinite and unconditional and His mercies help us to achieve things that ordinarily would not be able to accomplish by our strengths. 
This is why it is necessary for you to always renew His mercies every morning and invoke His love in all areas of your life. As we will be praying for His love and mercy, we will do that together. The power to make things happen is in our tongue. Let us pray together in faith. In Jesus' name, I thank you, Lord, for showing us your mercy and love in all areas of our lives. I thank you, Lord, for making us partakers of all your promises that are in your word through your love which made you die on the cross. I pray for you that the love of God will replace all seeds of anger, bitterness and resentment that the enemy has planted in you. And I invoke the mercy of God to replace judgment in your life and family in the name of Jesus. Isaiah 30, 18 says that the Lord will be gracious to you. He will arise to show you mercy for the Lord is a God of justice. Blessed are all those who wait for him. And in the name of Jesus, I pray for you that the Lord would arise and show you mercy. And he will be gracious to you in all areas of your life. In the name of Jesus. I pray as the book of Psalm 25 says, all the parts of the Lord are mercy and the truth towards those who honor his covenant and decrees. I pray that the Lord will show you mercy and truth as you keep on obeying him in the name of Jesus. I release the mercy of God to grant you supernatural speed ahead of your contemporaries in the name of Jesus. From today, you will begin to soar on the wings of God's mercy in the name of Jesus. The Bible says in Lamentations 3, 22 to 23, the steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercy never come to an end. They are new every morning. I decree over your life that the mercy of the Lord in your life would never run dry. They will be renewed every morning in the name of Jesus. And I pray that the love of God God in you will cast out all forms of fear in your heart in the name of Jesus. The word of God in Romans 8 37 says that nothing can separate us from the love of God. And I pray that you will stand strong despite all forms of trials and tribulations by the love of God shed abroad your heart. I pray that you will be able to comprehend the extent of God's love for you in the name of Jesus. You will not be deceived by the devil's devices which will make you stray from the love of God for you in the name of Jesus. The love of God that is never failing will make God arise and fight against all the wicked ones that are guarded against you in the name of Jesus. The word of God in Psalm 5 verse 12 says that he builds a shield of love around the righteous. Right now, I pray for you that the love of God will encompass you about in all areas of your life. You will be strengthened by God's love and you will be exempted from evil by the mercies of God in the name of Jesus. I pray for you that you will learn how to love people around you well and also in the right way in the name of Jesus. I pray that the love of God will heal all wounds you have not healed from in the past. The Holy Spirit will activate his love much more in your heart and you will let go of offenses in the name of Jesus. I pray that you will always come to the throne of grace with confidence so that you will obtain mercy and help in times of need in the name of Jesus. All of your inheritance that is in Christ Jesus will be made available to you through the mercy of God that is at work in you. The race will be made easy for you because of God's mercy that is at work in you in the name of Jesus. I pray that you will never frustrate the love that God has for you and you will not deny God's mercy for you in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord, for answering our prayers. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen.
There are certain altars erected by the evil ones against you in order to send evil things that are contrary to the will of God for you. These altars can be dismantled by you because you have the authority to do that and the forces of darkness dare not hurt you. The altars that are set up against you are no bigger and stronger than the name of Jesus that is in your possession. The word of God says in Philippians 2.10, At the mention of the name of Jesus, every knee will bow and every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Appropriate the name of Jesus today in pulling down all the strongholds of the enemies. Job 22.28 says, You will decree a thing on earth and it will be established unto you and light will shine upon your path. We will come against these altars by faith and with boldness. So let us pray in faith. In the name of Jesus, I pull down all demonic altars erected over you and your family. And I pray for you that all illegitimate altars that are projecting failure and delay in your life are scattered in the name of Jesus. Jeremiah 1.10 says, See, I have set you this day over nations and over kingdoms to pluck up and break down, to destroy and overthrow, to build and to plant. By the power in the name of Jesus, I begin to break into pieces all the evil altars erected over you and your family. I destroy all their devices and I uproot all the evil things that are contrary to the will of God that have been laid upon those altars against you in Jesus' name. There is no other foundation laid other than that which was laid by the Lord Jesus. And so I decree that any other foundation other than that which is laid by the Lord Jesus in your life and in families are dismantled in Jesus' name. I decree that the fire of the Lord will fall and roast all evil priests that are legislating over evil orders the enemies are using to project evil into your life. The Bible says in Matthew 15, 13, every plant that my father has not planted will be rooted out. I therefore begin to uproot all evil plantations in your life. I send the angel of the Lord to break into pieces all the altars of wickedness set up over you and your family. And I release any member of your family that is under the bondage of evil altars. I decree that the Lord would fight against all the wicked ones that are in charge of evil orders against your life and you will hold your peace. Anything that has been stolen from you by the priests of evil orders are released and I command the release right now in Jesus' name. The word of God says in Philippians chapter 4 verse 13, you can do all things through Christ that strengthens you. Right now, I pray for you that you are energized to pull down and dismantle all the altars of the wicked ones, even in your life and your families. You are strengthened and your strength will not fail you in warring against oppression of the wicked ones against your family. In the mighty name of Jesus, you will stay at the altar of the Lord God instead of being held captive by the altar of wickedness. We are God's battle axe, that's what the scripture says, and his weapon of war. We therefore begin to dismantle the altars of the wicked ones. As the Bible says in Leviticus 26 verse 30, I then will destroy your high places and cut down your incense altars and heap on the remains of your idols for my soul shall abhor you. This is the word of the Lord against the wicked ones and their altars and it will stand whether they like it or not. The altar of the evil ones will be exposed even if it is subtle in operation in the name of Jesus. I decree that the Lord destroys all altars and idols that are subtle in operation in your life and families. You will wait patiently on the altar of the Lord and not the altar of the wicked ones in Jesus name. I decree an end to every form of demonic manipulations that stem from activities of evil priests that are legislating over evil altars against you and your family. The name of the Lord Jesus will be exalted above all altars, even in your life now and forevermore in Jesus' name. 
I pray for you that you will not unconsciously serve as the altar of darkness anymore. In Jesus' name. We bless you, Lord, for answering all our prayers. Glory to your name, Lord. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. The Word of God made it clear to us that we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. By these, we are aware that the battle is not against the person who might think is harming us. Rather, it is against the forces that are instigating that person to do those evil things to you. This is the foremost reason you must be prepared every time because you are a soldier of the Lord. Take up the whole armor of God so that you will be able to withstand the wiles of the devil and his cohorts. The battle against the forces should be done in the consciousness that you have been made more than a conqueror already through Christ who gave you victory when he went to the grave and hell and defeated grave and death. So with the consciousness of this, war a good fight of faith using the name of Jesus. The Word of God says in Job 22 verse 29, You will decree a thing on earth and it will be established to you and light will shine upon your path. Use the name of Jesus and the Word of God to come against all the powers of darkness that are fighting against you and your family. Let us pray together in faith. By the power in the name of Jesus, I come against all the powers of darkness that are fighting against the will of God for you from manifesting. 2 Thessalonians chapter 3 verse 3 says, But the Lord is faithful and he will strengthen you and protect you from the evil ones. I stand upon the word of God and I decree that the Lord will strengthen you and also protect you from the evil ones in the name of Jesus. The Word of God also says in Luke 10, 19, You have been given the authority to trample upon serpents and scorpions and over all the powers of darkness, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. By reason of the Word of God, I decree that you will exercise the authority you have against all the powers of darkness that are fighting against you and your family in the name of Jesus. All the principalities that want to antagonize the will of God in your life will be exposed and arrested by the angel of the Lord in Jesus' name. The judgment of the Lord will fall on the powers of darkness who are bent on making you frustrated and discouraged in the name of Jesus. Right now, I decree that the light of God will expose all the plans of the powers of darkness against you and your family in the name of Jesus. And I pray for you that all the powers that have been assigned to make you suffer in poverty and disgrace are destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord will cause all the powers of darkness who come against you in one way to flee before you in seven ways in the name of Jesus. I use the blood of Jesus to build an edge around you and your family. And I decree that you will be untouchable to all principalities and powers that are sent to harm you in the name of Jesus. You will not be scared of the evil one and as the Lord will keep on fighting against the evil one on your behalf in the name of Jesus, his love will keep you safe from all the plots of the powers of darkness in the name of Jesus. Psalm 44 verse 5 says that through God you will push back your adversary and through his name you will trample down those who rise up against you. By reason of the word of God and the efficacy in that word, I pray for you that through the help of God, you will push back all the powers of darkness that are gathered around you and against you. And through the name of Jesus, you will trample all the wicked ones who rise against you in the name of Jesus. Psalm 18 verse 39 says, For you have girded me with strength for battle. You have subdued under me those who rose up against me. By the reason of the word of God, which stands true forever, I decree over you that the Lord will keep on strengthening you and you will subdue all the powers of darkness who rise against you in the name of Jesus. 
the name of the Lord will be your stronghold and your high tower. You will keep on running to it and as you do this, you will be saved from the attacks of the evil ones in Jesus' name. I pray for you that the Lord will fight for you against all the powers of darkness and you will just watch and, and He will give you a flawless victory against the wicked ones in the name of Jesus. As the Lord of hosts liveth, I decree that demonic operation, affliction and manipulation have come to an end in your life and in your family. I put to flight all the powers of the enemies who are assigned to seal and all the good things that God has provided for you. I decree that all the things which the enemies stole from you will be returned in sevenfold. In the mighty name of Jesus, all the altars of darkness that are erected because of your sake are consumed right now. I decree that the priests of darkness that are assigned to send projections to you and your loved ones from these evil altars are destroyed in the name of Jesus. I send the angels of the Lord to begin to war against all the powers of darkness that do not want you to live in good health and in prosperity in Jesus' name. We well, thank you, Lord, for answering all our prayers. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. You are a seed of Abraham and because of this you should be immune to satanic spells that are pronounced against you to cause hindrance and delay in your life. The scripture says that no enchantment against Jacob shall stand. Therefore, no spell of the witches and wizards is supposed to affect you because you are immune to their spells. As much as they will try to hypnotize you with their spells, they cannot work against you because your life is hidden in Christ and Christ in God. The Bible also tells us that no weapon formed against you should prosper and no divination against you should stand. Only God has the final say in your life and not demonic spells or enchantments. The Bible says in Matthew 18, 18, that whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven and whatever you lose on earth shall be loose in heaven. We will be using this to win against the witches that have been sent to cast spell on you. Make this your confidence and so you will be praying together in faith. I decree in the name of Jesus upon the life of anyone listening to me right now, that all the spells of the witches against your life and your family will not stand. By the power in the name of Jesus, I rebuke and lose you and your family from every form of curses, charms, fetishes, jings, all psychic powers, sorcery, bewitchment, enchantment, witchcraft, love potion and psychic spells that have been put upon you and your family. I decree that the blood of Jesus breaks and sets you free from every negative covenant you have unknowingly entered into. I stand on the integrity of God's word and I say that all bandages that have been placed upon you and your family due to satanic spells are destroyed in the name of Jesus. You and all the members of your family are immune to the spells of the forces of darkness and the fire of the Lord will roast all the priests of darkness that have connived together to cast spells upon you and your family in Jesus' name. There is safety and security for you and your family against satanic spells in Jesus' name. The Son of God has set you free, therefore you are free indeed. I pray right now that you are set free from all forms of demonic spells and enchantments that have limited your progress all in the past in the name of Jesus. I break all the yokes of bondages that have caused stagnation in your family and have prevented you from having a major breakthrough. By the power that's in the name of Jesus, I decree that you and all the members of your family are immune to any spell and divinations of the power of witchcraft. Micah 3, 7 says that those who practice witchcraft will be disgraced. I pray that all the witches in your family are disgraced right now in Jesus' name. Micah 5 verse 12b also says that God will put an end to all witchcraft. I therefore stand upon the word of God and I end at the activities of witches in your life and in your family in the name of Jesus. I decree 
that you will not be destroyed by the attacks of these witches in your neighborhood in the name of Jesus. I decree that all the plans of witches, wizards and sorcerers to play satanic spells and enchantment on you are nullified right now in Jesus' name. And I pray you would not lose any of your loved ones to the spell and attacks of these forces of darkness in the name of Jesus. I pray that you would not be disgraced and frustrated in any way by the spells of witches and wizards to cause setbacks in your family. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that you and your family will not be casualties to the attacks of the forces of witchcraft. You will not experience a wasted labor by the spells of the forces of darkness. The word of God says that your life is hidden in Christ and Christ in God. And because of that, I decree that you will keep on hiding under the shadow of the Almighty. In the name of Jesus, I decree that the fire of the Lord will roast all the witches and wizards that are causing you problems and heartaches. I place a curse on all the witches and wizards that are troubling you in the name of Jesus. I decree that you will not be disturbed again because you bear upon yourself the mark of Jesus Christ. You're above the limitations that are placed upon you and your family. In the name of Jesus, I release the wrath of God that will be kindled against the wicked ones that are causing you sorrow. I decree and declare that the name of the Lord will be exalted in your life and your family against any attack and forces of witchcraft. In the name of Jesus, you will not become an entity in life due to the plots of the wicked ones. By the power and the blood of Jesus, I pray that the blood of Jesus will exempt you from the attacks of the forces of darkness. I decree that all foundational problems that have besieged your life and family due to pronouncements of the powers of darkness against your family are repaired. You will not be caught unaware by the forces of darkness. You and all members of your family will not become a prey to the spell of the wicked ones. I send forth the angel of the Lord to go forth and begin to fight for you and your family against the forces of witchcraft in the name of Jesus. The peace of the Lord will serenade you and your family amidst the plus. I decree that strange ailments that the enemies might have afflicted on any member of your family disappears even now. Your life will not be cut short by the forces of witchcraft. You will live to declare the works of the Lord in the land of the living. And by the power in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare that you will not be a tool of the forces of witchcraft. You will not live a messy and mediocre life to the attacks of the forces of witchcraft. I decree that you will keep on hiding under the shadow of the Almighty and you will keep on being covered under his mighty and able wings in Jesus name. But thank you Lord for answering our prayers in Jesus name. All the things holding you back might be physical or spiritual. But these things are lesser than you because you have been made more than a conqueror in Jesus Christ. The scripture says in Nahum 1.13, and I quote, So now I will break off his yoke bar upon you and I'll tear off your shackles. End of quote. The things holding you back are chains and these chains can be broken using the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. All bondages are destroyed by the name of Jesus. Now we will be using the name of Jesus to break free from all things limiting us. So it will be on that day that his burden will be removed from your shoulders and his yoke from your neck and the yoke will be broken because of fatness. The anointing of God abides in you and by the reason of it, all yokes are destroyed. Let us pray together. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you that all things that are limiting you and your family are destroyed. You're free from all the things that are making you and your family go around in circles in the name of Jesus. And by the power in that name, you will not be limited and stagnated in life. The word of God says in Jeremiah 38, it shall come about on that day, declares the Lord God of hosts, that I will break his yoke off their neck and will tear off their bonds and strangers will no longer make them their slaves. According to the word of God, I decree over you that the Lord will break your yoke 
off your neck and strangers would no longer make you slaves in the name of Jesus. Psalm 107 verse 16 says, For he has shattered the gates of bronze and cut bars of iron asunder. By the word of God, I pray that all the gates of the wicked ones that have lifted up its heads against you are shattered. And the bars of iron that have kept you in bondage are destroyed in the name of Jesus. You are no longer a stranger in chains from today. You walk in victory that you have in Christ Jesus. The scripture says in Psalm 6, 8 verse 6 that God makes a home for the lonely. He leads out the prisoners into prosperity and only the rebellious dwell in a past land. By the power in the word of God, I pray for you that the Lord will lead you out to your prosperity all the days of your life in the name of Jesus. I decree over you that all habits that have made you obsessed come to an end now in Jesus name. Isaiah 42 verse 7 says to open the blind eyes to bring out prisoners from the dungeon and those who dwell in darkness from the prison. In the name of Jesus I decree that everyone in captivity in your family will come out of the prison. They have been kept and I decree that their eyes are open and free from demonic oppression in the name of Jesus. I decree that your soul escapes as a bird out of the snare of the trapper. The snare is broken and you have escaped in the name of Jesus. I decree that you would never be stagnated in anything you do. In the name of Jesus, all the plans of the evil ones to cause you a major setback which you would not be able to recover from are thwarted in the name of Jesus. Lord will go before you and make the rough places smooth. He will also shatter the doors of bronze and cut through their iron bars in the name of Jesus. I pray for you that the Lord will break the bars of your yoke and make you walk erect in all your ways in the name of Jesus. And by the power in that name I decree that the Lord will cut into the cords of the wicked in your life and family in Jesus name. Romans 8 2 says for the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has set you free from the law of sin and death by the word of God I decree that you are no longer a slave to sin but a slave to righteousness in the name of Jesus and I decree over you that you are walking in the freedom that Christ has given to you and in the name of Jesus, I release the angel of the Lord to go ahead of you and destroy all the devices of the wicked ones that want to put you in captivity. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, for answering all our prayers. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. The Son of God has given you the keys of the kingdom to wage war against the powers of darkness who are gathered against you. You have the authority to say a thing on earth and it will be established to you because life and death is in the power of your tongue. The forces of darkness that want to fight against you to alter the will of God for you are destroyed and sent to exile by you using the name of Jesus and the word of God. The Word of God says in Isaiah 54 verse 17 that no weapon formed or fashioned against you shall prosper and any tongue that rises in judgment against you shall be condemned. Now the Word of God is in your mouth and it has the capacity to fight for you. The Word of God is capable of saving you from the destruction of the wicked ones. So let us pray together in faith. Psalm 35 verse 1 says that the Lord will plead your cause with them that strive with you. And by the reason of the word of God, I decree that the Lord would fight against all the occultic powers that are warring against you and your family in the name of Jesus. I decree that the fire of the Lord would consume all the altars of the wicked ones aimed at projecting evil into your life. And I destroy all the altars of the occultic kingdom standing in your way to greatness in the name of Jesus. The Lord will set you free from the power of darkness in Jesus' name. As the word of God says in Psalm 91 verse 1, that he who dwells in the sacred place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. 
I pray for you that you will always abide under the shadow of the Almighty. And as you do this, you will be protected from the hold of the occultic kingdom in the name of Jesus. I decree that all the things that were stolen from you by the powers of darkness will be restored to you in sevenfold in the name of Jesus. The Lord will dry up all the past source of the wicked ones which they are using to afflict you in the name of Jesus. Exodus 14, 14 says that the Lord would fight for you and you will hold your peace. And by the power in the name of Jesus, I pray that the Lord would fight on behalf of you against all the powers of darkness that are seeking your hurt. You would no longer be enslaved by the occultic kingdom who are bent on frustrating your life in the name of Jesus. I decree that all the evil seeds of the enemies that was planted in you are uprooted and destroyed in the name of Jesus. Job 5.12 says that God destroys the craftiness of the wicked so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. I decree that the Lord will turn around the plan of the wickedness to make it foolishness and a will turn around their plan for your good in the name of Jesus. I decree that all the satanic priests that say you will not fulfill your purpose are destroyed by the fire of the Lord in the name of Jesus. And in that name, I decree that the fire of the Lord will consume all the devices of the wicked ones that are using to afflict and oppress you and your family in the name of Jesus. I decree that all the evil ones that came against you in one way they flee before you in seven ways. The Lord was set on fire the altar of your life and family in the name of Jesus. You and all the members of your family are untouchable to the occultic powers in the mighty name of Jesus. Now, according to the word of God in Deuteronomy 28 verse 7, the Lord will cause your enemies who rise up against you to be defeated before you. They shall come against you in one way and flee before you in seven ways. I decree that the Lord will cause all your enemies to be defeated before you. And as they come against you in one way, they will flee before you in seven ways. In the mighty name of Jesus. I shoot the arrows of God to discomfit the powers of darkness that are fighting against you. And I send forth the lightning of the Holy Ghost to scatter all the occultic powers that are warring against you. I engage the ministry of angels to begin to wage war against the powers of the enemies that have devised your hurt and downfall in the name of Jesus. You will put on all the occultic powers softly operating your life to flight and they will never come back to harass you by the power in the name of Jesus. Deuteronomy 3.22 says that you should not fear them. The occultic powers. For the Lord your God is the one fighting for you. And by the reason of the word of God, I pray for you that you will not be afraid of the occulting powers as the Lord will go ahead of you to fight against the evil ones seeking to afflict and oppress you in the name of Jesus. I pray for you again that you have the authority to trample upon serpents and scorpions and over all the powers of darkness and nothing shall by any means hurt you in Jesus name. We thank you Lord for answering all our prayers. In Jesus name we have prayed. Amen. One of the weapons the devil employs in pushing God's children out of his will for them is distraction. The devil would try as hard as possible to bring different forms of distractions to you so that you will not do the bidding of the Lord. Some of these distractions would come subtly and if you are not discerning enough, you will not know that these things are distracting you. The more distracted you are, the less you will hear the voice of God and get directions from the Holy Spirit. Do not forget that the Holy Spirit is never the author of confusion, but, but he is the author of peace and stability. Do not give any room for the devil and his minions to distract you from your purpose and calling. 
One sure way of overcoming these distractions is by fixing your mind on the Lord. The Bible says in Isaiah 26 verse 3 that he will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on him. No matter the distractions the devil and his cohorts will send at you, make the Lord your focus. Fix your mind on the word of God and not what the devil and his minions are doing. The Bible in Ephesians 3 verses 11 to 13 stressed the need for you to wear the whole armor of God so that you will be able to withstand the wiles of the devil and his distraction is part of it. Today, we will be coming against all forms of distractions. The enemies will send to you to make you lose sight of who you are in Christ Jesus and shift ground. Let us pray together in faith. In the name of Jesus, I come against all demonic distractions that want to make you stray from the will of God for you. And I bind all the powers of darkness that want to deaden your spiritual sensitivity using distraction as their major weapon in the name of Jesus. Isaiah 26 verse 12 says, Lord, you will establish peace for us, for you have done all our works in us. I stand upon this word and I decree over you and all your loved ones that the Lord will give you perfect peace irrespective of all the distractions of the devil around you in the name of Jesus. Psalm 118 verse 17 says that you will not die but live to declare the works of the Lord. I therefore pray for you that the activities of the devil and his cohorts around you and your loved ones to cause a major distraction in your life would never cut short your lifespan in the name of Jesus. Your heart is stayed on the Lord and never on the activities of the wicked ones against you and your loved ones in the name of Jesus. I pray for you that the Lord would take away from you any form of distraction that will make you stray away from the will of the Lord for you in Jesus' name. And by the power in the name of Jesus, I decree a perfect rest for you against all forms of oppression and suppression which are targeted at dampening your trust in God. Colossians 3 verse 2 says that you should set your mind on things above, not on earthly things. I therefore pray for you that you will always set your mind on the things that are edifying and not on worldly things in Jesus' name. You will not have a divided devotion to the things of the Lord in the name of Jesus. And by the power in that name, I pray for you that you will not be conformed to the pattern of this world, but you will always be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Psalm 86 verse 11 says, Teach me your way, Lord, that I may rely on your faithfulness. Give me an undivided heart that I may fear your name. Because of the word of God, I pray for you that the Lord will teach you his ways and you will rely on his faithfulness. You will be given an undivided heart so that you will fear the name of the Lord in Jesus name. I pray for you that you will be alert and of a sober mind because the adversary who is the devil prowls around like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour. I decree over you that anything that is making you distracted would no longer distract you. The Lord would give you the ability to be able to stay focused despite the distractions around you in the name of Jesus. The Word of God says in Matthew 6 24 that no man can serve two masters. Either you will hate one and love the other. I therefore pray for you that you will serve God devotedly and you will no longer serve the devil subtly in Jesus name. The cares of this life would no longer distract you in the name of Jesus. Your affection is fixed on things above in Jesus' name. I pray for you that you would not be overtaken by any temptation which the devil and his cohorts would send to you to distract you from walking in the will of God for you in Jesus' name. You will always fix your eyes on Jesus who is the author and finisher of your faith despite all forms of distractions that are happening around you in Jesus' name. 
James 4, 7, and the Bible says that you should submit to God, resist the devil, and it will flee from you. I therefore pray for you that from today, you will learn how to submit to God and you will resist the devil steadfastly and vehemently as you do these, the devil will flee from you in Jesus name. And I cancel all the plots of the wicked ones to make you distracted and leave the purpose God has created for you. In Jesus' name, I begin to destroy all the devices of the enemies that they have employed to distract you. Luke 9.62 says that anyone that puts his hand on the plow and looks back is not fit for the kingdom of God. I pray for you that as you have begun the Lord's business, nothing would make you shift ground or get distracted in the name of Jesus. I say with faith in my heart that you are strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. You will always put on the whole armor of God so that you can stand firm against the devil's schemes in Jesus' name. You will keep yourselves from all idols in Jesus' name. I pray for you that you will always abide in God and as you do this, you will bear much fruit in Jesus' name. We thank you, Lord, for answering every one of our prayers today. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for it is in Jesus' name we have prayed. The word of God in your mouth is capable of turning dark clouds that the wicked ones have used to conceal the glory of the Lord in your life and family. Dark clouds might come in the form of sicknesses and diseases, pains, poverty, disappointment, strange patterns and occurrences and every other thing that is contrary to the will of God for you. Now it is time to command these dark clouds to vanish so that the glory of the Lord will be seen much more in your life and family. Matthew 16 19 says you have the keys of the kingdom to bind anything on earth and it will be bound in heaven and to lose anything on earth and it will be loosed in heaven. We will be commanding all dark clouds to vanish in your life and family now by using the name of Jesus. Let us pray together in faith. In the name of Jesus, I pray that all things that are contrary to the will of God for you and your family are taken away. I pray for you that the glory of the Lord would shine in your family and your life in the name of Jesus. I decree that the light of the Lord will begin to expose the subtle activities of the wicked ones in your life and in your family. By the power in the Holy Ghost, I scatter all the gathering of the wicked ones that are orchestrating evil against you and your family in Jesus' name. I decree that every negative atmosphere to disappear. Anyone or anything staring up dark clouds around you is destroyed in the name of Jesus. Every dark cloud around you that is preventing your God-ordained helpers from coming to you disappear right now in the name of Jesus. I scatter all the powers of darkness that are in charge of causing evil occurrences to you and your family in the name of Jesus. I decree that the light of God will expose the plans of the wicked ones against you and your family. Every dark cloud that is generational disappears right now in the name of Jesus. Psalm 35 verse 1 says, God will plead your cause with those that strive against you and he will fight against those that fight against you. I decree that the Lord would fight against the wicked ones that are instigating problems in your family and in your life in the name of Jesus. 2 Thessalonians chapter 1 verse 6 says, It is a just thing with the Lord to recompense tribulation to those that trouble you. I pray for you that the Lord will begin to judge those that are troubling you and your family in the name of Jesus. I use the blood of Jesus 
to wipe off all traces of the activities of darkness in your life and in your family. All powers that are waiting for your downfall will be surprised as the Lord will keep on upholding and strengthening you in the name of Jesus. You are untouchable. For the powers of darkness, you will trample upon all of them that are operating in your life and your family in Jesus' name. I release the fire of the Holy Ghost to consume all the pieces of machinery of the evil ones that they are using to manipulate you and your family in the name of Jesus. Since you are on the Lord's side, all the enemies around you will bow because he that is with you is more than the enemies that are guarded around you in Jesus' name. All the plots of the wicked ones against you are falling to the ground by the power in the name of Jesus. You will not be frustrated by evil happenings around you and your family. All strange patterns in your family give way for the glory of God to shine much more in your life in Jesus' name. I decree that the Egyptians you see today, you shall see no more because the Lord will fight for you and you shall hold your peace. All the forces of darkness that want you to beg before you eat are arrested and sent into the abbeys right now in the name of Jesus. The dark clouds of premature death in your life and your family disappears right now in the name of Jesus. All forms of delay in your life and family end now by the power in the name of Jesus. You are free indeed from all forms of attacks and manipulations of the devil and his cohorts. In Jesus' name. We thank you, Lord, for answering our prayers. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. As a child of God, you have the power to come against everything the devil brings against you. You must resist the enemy, as the book of James says, because his plan and main job is to steal, kill, and destroy. But Jesus came to give you life and life more abundantly. Now rise with me as we decree by the power in the name of Jesus that as from this moment nothing spoken against you shall prosper. Let's pray. Father, it is in the name of Jesus that I come to you as a blood-washed and redeemed child to take authority over every weapon that is formed against anyone under the sound of my voice. In the name of Jesus, every tongue that has risen against them is condemned. It is written, who is it that speaks? And it comes to pass when God has not spoken. Therefore, I say, every evil projection made against anyone here is cut off. It is written, no enchantment against the house of Jacob, nor David nor divination against it shall stand. I therefore decree and declare that every enchanter or every diviner that has worked against anyone under the sound of my voice, today your powers are broken and I decree that diviners are made mad for your sake. They will no longer perform their enterprises. Every crystal ball or basing or antenna set to monitor your progress than that of your children's are destroyed now in the name of Jesus. Lord, we come to you today to ask for your protection henceforth against every evil projections that may be directed towards these ones. We believe in your power to shield them from the harm and to keep them safe from every negative energies. I ask that you surround them with your divine light and love and that you shield them from any harmful intentions that may come their ways in the mighty name of Jesus. We totally trust in your ability to keep safe and to guide them through any challenges that may arise because Lord Jesus you said as many as I called by your name to them you've given the power to become the sons of God and so Lord God you have put them in the whole of your hands therefore they will no longer be affected by any imagination or stray bullet that the enemy has already released against them we ask you, Lord, 
to help them remain grounded and centered in your love and to stay focused on the positive things in their life father those that the enemy has release fear projections of fear against them it is written the lord has not given us the spirit of fear but of love and of a power and of a sound mind today i declare that fear you lose your grip over anyone in the name of jesus we decree that god's grace and blessings remain upon you and you will always walk in his light thank you for your love and protection and for your constant presence in everyone's life even now in the mighty name of jesus we have prayed amen when god remembers you your story will change overnight and people will begin to wonder how you did it and how it happened god remembered jacob and in a few months he recovered all the wages his uncle laban withheld from him God also remembered Sarah and opened her womb and she bore Isaac, the covenant child. Do not think that the Lord has forgotten you. He can never be a man that has a short memory and neither does he lie. I don't know that area of your life where you need the Lord's remembrance. I bring you good news. The good news is that the set time for your remembrance is here and it is now. The word of God says that he will turn your captivity around and you will be like those who dream. Are you ready for the Lord's remembrance today? If you are, join me as we pray together in faith. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for always remembering us for good at all times. We give you the praise, Lord, for looking down at us with your mercy. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Father, your word says in Psalm 136 verses 23, God remembered us when we are down. His love never fails by the power in the name of Jesus. I pray for you and all members of your family that the Lord will remember you all for good and his love would never fail in your life. I pray for you that all those people the Lord has ordained to help you and have forgotten about you. I pray that the Lord will stir their hearts and cause them to remember you for good in the name of Jesus. I release the angel of the Lord that will bring good news to you. I decree that they will begin to work for you in all areas of your life in Jesus' name. And I pray that the good work that God has started in your life will be completed even until the day of Christ. I decree over you that the Lord would arise in his mercy and restore to you the things that the enemies stole from you in Jesus' name. And in that great name I decree over you that man would no longer forget the good things that you have done. All your good deeds are rewarded even now in the name of Jesus. I stand on the word of God and I decree that you would not die without being remembered for good. I put all the right mechanisms in place and I pray that from today all things begin to work for you for your good in your life in Jesus name. You are no longer relegated to point zero as the Lord will remember you for good and cause your efforts to yield tangible results in Jesus' name. In any place you have been rejected and denied access, I pray that you will be accepted because the Lord has taken pleasure in you and he has remembered you for good in Jesus' mighty name. I scatter all the wicked ones that are going around to sow the seeds of forgetfulness in the hearts of your helpers in the mighty name of Jesus. I begin to release a double measure of mercy and goodness over your life. And these will help you to be remembered by kings and influential people in the society. I pray that those that are owing you and have refused to pay you, the dividend of your labor are troubled and they will begin to give to you what is rightfully yours in Jesus name. There is no more death for you in your finance as the Lord is remembering you for good and he will cause an overflow of your resources for you and your family. The Lord will touch you with his mighty hands and cause a mighty turn around in your life to the point that nations will envy you in the name of Jesus. 
I pray that the prayers that you are still expecting answers to are answered as the Lord has remembered you for good. You would not be stranded in all areas of your life. The Lord would always come through for you when you desperately need help in Jesus' name. You are favored, blessed, promoted and glorified in the name of Jesus. And I release the angels of goodness, mercy and favor to begin to work for you. The will of the Lord will be perfected in all facets of your life. In Jesus' name, I have prayed. Thank you, Lord, for answering our prayers. Because we know it's done in Jesus' name. Amen. Your expectation would not be cut short because the word of God has assured you that surely there is an end, but the expectation of the righteous would not be cut short. Do not forget that you are the righteousness of God in Christ. God has also promised you in Philippians chapter 1 verse 6, which says, Be confident of this very thing, that he that has begun a good work in you will complete it until the day of Jesus Christ. The Lord will perfect all that concerns you in all areas of your life. I don't know what you are still expecting from the Lord, but I have good news for you. And the good news is that the Lord is more than capable to meet you at the point of your need. So today, we will be invoking the name of the Lord to perfect all that concerns you. The word of God told us in Jeremiah chapter 3 verse 3 that we should call upon him in the day of trouble and he will answer us and show us great and mighty things which we do not know. Our God is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the power that is at work in us. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for meeting us always at the point of our needs. Thank you, Lord, for never leaving us stranded or forsaking us. We bless you, Lord, for making us limitless in you. And Father, we pray for all that are listening to this message today, that I pray you will breathe life into their little efforts and you will make them worthwhile in the name of Jesus. Your word says in Jeremiah 29, 11, that the thoughts you have towards them are thoughts of good and not of evil to give them an expected end. I pray that the Lord's good thoughts for you as you listen to me will come to fusion in the name of Jesus. I pray also for you that the projects which you have embarked on and have not been able to complete will be completed by the power in the name of Jesus. Psalm 23 verse 1 says, The Lord is our shepherd and we shall not want. I pray for you that the Lord will be your shepherd and he will lead you to green pastures. The word of God clearly states in Psalm 138 verse 8 that the Lord will perfect that which concerns you. And I stand on the word of God and I decree that the Lord will perfect all that concerns you in your life and in your family's life in the name of Jesus. The good work that God has begun in your life, he will complete until his perfect day in the name of Jesus. 1 Corinthians 1 8 says, God will keep you firm to the end so that you will be blameless on the day of our Lord Jesus. By the power in the name of Jesus, I pray for you that the good Lord will keep you firm. You will be immovable and unshakable in all ramifications. I pray for you that you will be blameless on all the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord will send you help from his secret place to meet your heart's desires in the name of Jesus. The benefits that are meant for you that have not been gotten to you will be released right now. And I decree that you will get those hoarded benefits the wicked ones are hiding from you. All things are working together for your good, whether the devil and his cohorts like it or not, in the name of Jesus. I decree that what the enemies meant for evil will be turned around to work for your good by the power that's in the name of Jesus. And I pray for you that you would not lack in 
any aspect as the Lord will always be your sufficiency in all ramifications in the name of Jesus. There is no retrogression for you and your family. Rather, you will walk in supernatural speed and you will recover those things that you have lost in the name of Jesus. God promises for you will come to manifestation while you are alive. You will not die an unfulfilled person in the name of Jesus. I release an abundance of resources for your calling and destiny by the power in the name of Jesus. You will not leave the will of God for you as you journey with God in your destiny. I release the performance of God's word in your family. I pray that the word of God will have imminence in your life and that of your family in the name of Jesus. The Lord will come through for you by surprising those who think that nothing good can come out of your life in Jesus name. Thank you Lord for answering all our prayers. For it is in the name of Jesus we have prayed. Amen. The Bible says that we should suffer not or wish to live. The beautiful thing is that we have the authority in the name of Jesus to trample upon all the powers of darkness and nothing shall by any means hurt us. The witches that might be operating subtly in your family and your neighborhood against you can be eradicated. Get up and walk in the victory you have in Christ. The Bible says in Job 22, 28, we will decree a thing on earth and it will be established unto us and light will shine on your path. Harness the name of Jesus and the power that is embedded in your tongue to conquer the forces of darkness that are gathered around you. I implore you to join your faith with mine as I make these decrees over you. In the name of Jesus, I decree that all witches that are subtly operating in your family and your life are destroyed. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree the mack of witchcraft that is at work in your life and family is blotted out. And in the name of Jesus, I decree that in any way you have invited the activities of witchcraft into your life unknowingly, you come out of them this instant. I decree that no member of your family will be a tool to be used by witches and wizards in the name of Jesus. By the power in the blood of Jesus, I purge everything that is of the devil in your system. I decree that you will be ahead of the forces of darkness that are chasing you unrelentedly. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that the Lord will wrap you in his love against all the powers of darkness that are gathered around you and against you. I pray that the mark of failure that is upon you or any member of your family is erased right now in the name of Jesus. I decree that you would not be an object of mockery to witches. The word of God says in Matthew 18, 18, whatever I bind on earth will be bound in heaven and whatever I lose on earth will be loose in heaven in the name of Jesus. I bind all the associations of witches and wizards that are attacking you and your family in the name of Jesus. I cancel every negative word that was said in the past and the present to you by the forces of darkness. I destroy all the types of machinery of the wicked ones that they are using to fight against you in the name of Jesus. I nullify all the agenda of witches and wizards in your immediate environment that do not want you to eat the good of the land. I pull you out of every pit the powers of darkness have kept you in the name of Jesus and I decree that you will hide under the secret place of the highest and you will not stray out of his shadow in the name of Jesus. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that you will be untouchable for the evil ones because you carry upon you the mark of Christ. I cancel every curse that was activated by the powers of darkness against your life and families in the name of Jesus. I decree that you hide under the pavilion of the highest and you are safe from the attacks of witches 
and wizards in the name of Jesus. I erase the mark of failure, poverty and disappointment upon your life. By what Jesus did on the cross, which was blotting out the handwriting of ordinances that were against you, he put them out of the way and nailed them to the cross. I decree that irrespective of the kinds of marks that are upon you, they are erased and blotted out completely now by the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I decree that the fire of the Holy Ghost burns completely all the things that are contrary to the will of God for you. I decree that the witches and wizards you saw yesterday, you shall see them no more. I pray for you that God is enthroned in your family and the powers of darkness that are operating subtly in your life and your family are dethroned. The enemy is highly organized and operates through the activities of witches, wizards and sorcerers. Witches and wizards are wicked and won't relent until they see your downfall. I've got news for you though. You are stronger than they are because you have been given the authority to trample upon them and they never hurt you. Have this confidence knowing that you are more than a conqueror. The witches that might be in your neighborhood and your vicinity have no legal right to hurt you because you have been explicitly marked by God. The word of God says in Job 22, 28, you will decree a thing on earth and it will be established unto you and light will shine upon your ways. You are powerful because the word of God is in your mouth and you have been given a name that at the mention of it, every knee must bow and every tongue will confess that Jesus is Lord. As I will be making these decrees and prayers over you, Affirm them with faith, believing that all of your expectations will be met. Let's pray. In the name of Jesus, I decree that all the associations of witches and wizards fall for your sake this instant in Jesus' name. I decree that the plans of all witches and wizards around you are frustrated. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that you will trample upon the powers of witchcraft that are fighting against your family and career. And in the name of Jesus, I decree that your progress will not be impeded by the powers of witchcraft. I decree that you will not be disgraced and embarrassed by witches and wizards that have devised your hurt in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I decree that you mount up with wings as eagles far above oppression of witches, wizards and sorcerers. You will enjoy flawless victories against the powers of witchcraft guarded against you and your family in the name of Jesus. I decree that the name of the Lord is exalted above the name of witchcraft in your life and your families. The word of God says in Psalm 35 verse 1 that God would fight against those that fight against you. I decree that the Lord would fight against the wicked ones masquerading as witches and wizards troubling you and your family in the name of Jesus. I decree that you and the members of your family would not fall into the traps. I decree that the machine of witchcraft that they are using to monitor your progress is destroyed in the name of Jesus. The word of God says in Exodus 14, 14, that God would fight for you and you will hold your peace. I decree that the Lord will fight against the witches and wizards that are ganked up against you in the mighty name of Jesus. Second Thessalonians 1, 6 says that it is a righteous thing with God to repay with tribulation those who trouble you. I therefore decree in the name of Jesus that the Lord would trouble the witches and wizards that are troubling you now. The Bible says in Psalm 37 10, for yet a little while and the wicked shall be no more. Indeed, you will look carefully for his place, but it shall be no more. I decree that the witches and wizards that are troubling you and your family will be seen no more by you in the name of Jesus. 
Psalm 18, 45 says that the foreigners will fade away and come frightened from their hideouts. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that all the powers of witchcraft that are softly operating in your life and families fade away and they are exposed in the name of Jesus. I decree that all evil strangers will obey you as soon as they hear of you and they will submit to you. I decree that the Lord is avenging for you in all of the areas all your enemies in the name of Jesus by the power in the name of Jesus I decree that all the things that the wicked ones stole from you be returned to you in sevenfold I decree that the powers of darkness that are frustrating all of your efforts are scattered and by the power in the blood of Jesus I decree that the blood will exempt you from the powers of witchcraft in the name of Jesus you will know the plans of the wicked ones even before they put them into motion in the name of Jesus. The oil of gladness will make you above the attacks of witchcraft in the name of Jesus. I decree that the anointing of God that you carry will destroy all the yokes of limitation and stagnation the witches and wizards have placed upon you in the name of Jesus. No spell of witches and wizards is supposed to affect you because you are immune to their spells. As much as they will try to hypnotize you with their spells, they cannot work against you because as a child of God, your life is hidden in Christ and Christ in God. The Bible also tells us that no weapon formed against us shall prosper and no divination against us shall stand. The Bible says in Matthew 18, 18, that whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven and whatever you lose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. We'll be using this to win against the witches that have been sent to cast spell and you. Make this your confidence as we will be praying together in faith. Let's pray. I decree in the name of Jesus that all the spells of the witches against your life and your family will not stand. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that you and all the members of your family are immune to the spell and divinations of the power of witchcraft. Micah 3.7 says that those who practice witchcraft will be disgraced and I pray that all the witches in your family are disgraced right now in the name of Jesus. Micah 5 verse 12 B says that God will put an end to all witchcraft. I therefore stand upon the word of God and I end the activities of witches in your life and your families in the name of Jesus. I decree that you would not be destroyed by the attacks of the witches in your neighborhood in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus, I decree that all the plans of witches, wizards and sorcerers are nullified. I pray that you will not lose any of your loved ones to the spell and attacks of the forces of witchcraft. In the name of Jesus, I pray that you will not be disgraced and frustrated by the spells of the witches and wizards around. And by the name of Jesus and in his power, I decree that you and your family will not be casualties to the attacks of the forces of witchcraft you will not experience a wasted labor by the attacks of the forces of witchcraft in the name of Jesus the Word of God says that your life is hidden in Christ and Christ in God I decree that you will keep on hiding under the shadow of the Almighty in the name of Jesus I decree that the fire of the Lord will roast all the witches and wheezes that are causing you problems and headache I pray a curse on all the witches because it is written suffer not a witch to live I decree that any witch or wizard that is troubling you today is cursed. I decree that you will not be disturbed again because you bear upon yourself the mark of Christ in the name of Jesus. You are above the limitations that are placed upon you and your family by the powers of witchcraft in the name of Jesus. I release the wrath of God against the wicked ones that are causing you sorrow. And in the name of the Lord, I declare that that name is exalted in your life and family 
family against the attacks of the forces of witchcraft in Jesus name in Jesus name you will not become an entity in life due to the plots of the wicked ones and I declare by the power in the blood of Jesus that the blood will exempt you from the attacks of the forces of darkness I decree that all foundational problems that have besieged your life and family due to pronouncements of the powers of darkness against your family are repaired in the name of Jesus. You will not be caught unawares by the attacks of the forces of witchcraft in the name of Jesus. You and all members of your family will not become a prey to the spell of the wicked ones. I send forth the angels of the Lord to go forth and begin to fight for you and your family against the forces of witchcraft in the name of Jesus. The peace of the Lord will serenade you and your family amidst the plots and schemes of the wicked ones in Jesus name. And I decree that any strange ailments that the enemies might have afflicted any member of your family with disappears now in Jesus' name. Your life will not be cut short by the forces of witchcraft. You will live to declare the works of the Lord in the land of the living. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that you will not be a tool of the forces of witchcraft. You will not live a messy and a mediocre life due to the attacks of the forces of witchcraft in Jesus' name. And I decree that you will keep on hiding under the shadow of the mighty one. You will keep on being covered under his mighty and able wings in Jesus name. You are a seed of Abraham and because of this you should be immune to satanic spells that are pronounced against you to cause hindrance and delay in your life. The scripture says that no enchantment against Jacob shall stand. Therefore, no spell of the witches and wizards is supposed to affect you because you are immune to their spells. As much as they will try to hypnotize you with their spells, they cannot work against you because your life is hidden in Christ and Christ in God. The Bible also tells us that no weapon formed against you should prosper and no divination against you should stand. Only God has the final say in your life and not demonic spells or enchantments. The Bible says in Matthew 18, 18, that whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven and whatever you lose on earth shall be loose in heaven. We will be using this to win against the witches that have been sent to cast spell on you. Make this your confidence and so you will be praying together in faith. I decree in the name of Jesus upon the life of anyone listening to me right now that all the spells of the witches against your life and your family will not stand by the power in the name of Jesus I rebuke and lose you and your family from every form of curses charms fetishes jinx all psychic powers sorcery bewitchment enchantment witchcraft love potion and psychic spells that have been put upon you and your family I decree that the blood of Jesus breaks and sets you free from every negative covenant you have unknowingly entered into I stand on the integrity of God's word and I say that all bandages that have been placed upon you and your family due to satanic spells are destroyed in the name of Jesus. You and all the members of your family are immune to the spells of the forces of darkness and the fire of the Lord will roast all the priests of darkness that have connived together to cast spells upon you and your family in Jesus name. There is safety and security for you and your family against satanic spells in Jesus name. The son of God has set you free. Therefore you are free indeed. I pray right now that you are set free from all forms of demonic spells and enchantments that have limited your progress all in the past in the name of Jesus. I break all the yokes of bondages that have caused stagnation in your family and have prevented you from having a major breakthrough. By the power that's in the name of Jesus, I decree that you and all the members of your family are immune to any spell and divinations of the power of witchcraft. 
Micah 3 7 says that those who practice witchcraft will be disgraced I pray that all the witches in your family are disgraced right now in Jesus name Micah 5 verse 12b also says that God will put an end to all witchcraft I therefore stand upon the word of God and I end at the activities of witches in your life and in your family in the name of Jesus I decree that you will not be destroyed by the attacks of these witches in your neighborhood in the name of Jesus. I decree that all the plans of witches, wizards and sorcerers to place satanic spells and enchantment on you are nullified right now in Jesus name. And I pray you would not lose any of your loved ones to the spell and attacks of these forces of darkness in the name of Jesus. I pray that you would not be disgraced and frustrated in any way by the spells of witches and wizards to cause setbacks in your family. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that you and your family will not be casualties to the attacks of the forces of witchcraft. You will not experience a wasted labor by the spells of the forces of darkness. The word of God says that your life is hidden in Christ and Christ in God. And because of that, I decree that you will keep on hiding under the shadow of the Almighty. In the name of Jesus, I decree that the fire of the Lord will roast all the witches and wizards that are causing you problems and heartaches. I place a curse on all the witches and wizards that are troubling you in the name of Jesus. I decree that you will not be disturbed again because you bear upon yourself the mark of Jesus Christ. You are above the limitations that are placed upon you and your family. In the name of Jesus, I release the wrath of God that will be kindled against the wicked ones that are causing you sorrow. I decree and declare that the name of the Lord will be exalted in your life and your family against any attack and forces of witchcraft. In the name of Jesus, you will not become an entity in life due to the plots of the wicked ones. By the power and the blood of Jesus, I pray that the blood of Jesus will exempt you from the attacks of the forces of darkness. I decree that all foundational problems that have besieged your life and family due to pronouncements of the powers of darkness against your family are repaired. You will not be caught unaware by the forces of darkness. You and all members of your family will not become a prey to the spell of the wicked ones. I send forth the angel of the Lord to go forth and begin to fight for you and your family against the forces of witchcraft in the name of Jesus. The peace of the Lord will serenade you and your family amidst the plus. I decree the strange ailments that the enemies might have afflicted on any member of your family disappears even now. Your life will not be cut short by the forces of witchcraft. You will live to declare the works of the Lord in the land of the living. And by the power in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare that you will not be a tool of the forces of witchcraft. You will not live a messy and mediocre life to the attacks of the forces of witchcraft. I decree that you will keep on hiding under the shadow of the Almighty and you will keep on being covered under his mighty and able wings in Jesus name. The very first thing I want you to know is that God is for you and no one can be against you. You are beyond being contended with by anyone. The powers of darkness dare not contend with you because you carry the mark of Christ. If God is for you, who possibly can stand against you? Even if the world is against you, God cannot be against you because you are his prized possession. Know this and have assurance and confidence. The Bible urges us in Luke 10, 19 to take authority in his name and trample against all powers of darkness that are contending with us. The Bible also says in Psalm 35, 1b, that God will fight against those that fight against you. The decision now lies with you. Do you want the Lord to fight against those that contend with you? Or do you want the Lord to pardon them? Now is the time to believe in these prayers I will say over you. In the name of Jesus, I decree that the Lord would fight for you and you shall hold your peace. I pray for you that the enemies who want to cause your downfall 
will be dumbfounded in the name of Jesus. I pray that the enemies will fall into the pits they have dug for you. I pray that the Lord will take hold of his shield and buckler and stand up for your help in the name of Jesus. I decree that all the enemies who have devised your hurt will be confounded. In the name of Jesus, I decree that the angel of the Lord chases those that are in constant contention with you. The Bible says in Deuteronomy 20 verse 4 that God will go before you to fight for you against all your enemies to give you victory. I pray that throughout this year, God will fight all your enemies and will always make you victorious. I pray for you that you will not be against yourself. In the name of Jesus, I decree that all the associations of witches and wizards to bring you shame are destroyed. I pray for you that all your enemies will begin to eat their own flesh and drink their own blood. In the name of Jesus, I decree that you are more than a conqueror in Christ Jesus. By the power of the Holy Ghost, I decree that you are untouchable for the enemies. The Lord will keep on showing up for you against your enemies. The word of the Lord will always be your weapon of defense and all offense against the enemies. In the name of Jesus, I pray that the enemies will never frustrate God's promises for you. You hide under the tabernacle of the highest. You find safety and solace in his name, in the name of Jesus. The love of God makes you perfect and secure. I decree that all your days will be filled with glad tidings. You will always sing songs of victory and joy in the name of Jesus. I pray that the resurrection power of God is at work in you much more. Therefore, all that the enemies have stolen from you will be restored to you in sevenfold. I decree that the name of the Lord would exempt you from the tragedies the enemies orchestrate daily. Christ has redeemed you from the curse of the law. He has been made a curse for you because curse is anyone that hangs on a tree. I pray for you that all generational curses that are alive in your lineage will never work against you. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you that you are engulfed in the love grace and mercy of the Lord in the name of Jesus and I decree that the ways of the wicked ones are slippery and their labor will be in futility against you. I decree that your faith in Jesus always coming to help you will never fizzle out in the name of Jesus. The veil has been turned. Therefore, I decree that you access the presence of God with confidence and no power of darkness will stand against you. I decree that as you journey in life, all obstacles on your path of fulfilling God-given purpose will become stepping stones for you to walk on, which will ease your journey to fulfill your purpose. You are above the attacks of the enemies in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, the good thoughts the Lord has for you will never be contended against by the wicked ones. The tongue is the smallest member of the body, yet it is still the most powerful. The Bible said in Proverbs 18, 21, that life and death are in the power of the tongue. That is the famous reason you must be watchful and how you speak negative words to yourself. And you must not permit anyone to speak negative words to you. In the spirit realm, there is nothing like I said so and so by mistake. Angels and demons are activated by the words of the mouth. You are to take authority in the name of Jesus by nullifying negative words you might have said to yourself and the ones, the evil ones pronounced against you. The Bible says in Matthew 18, 18, that whatsoever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven and whatever you lose on earth will be lost in heaven. Now is the time to use that authority you have in the name of Jesus by joining your faith with mine to nullify all negative words the enemies have said to you that are producing negative results in your life. I decree over you that all the negative words that you might have made unknowingly to yourself are nullified in Jesus' name. 
By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that the enchantments of the evil ones made against you shall not stand in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I decree that all curses that are working contrary to God's will for your life are nullified. I also decree that all negative words said to you that are making you not walk in your God-ordained destiny are cancelled. By the power and the blood of Jesus, I wash away all the wrong words people have said to you that have lowered your self-esteem in the name of Jesus. I decree that you will never lose your position by the wrong counsel of the enemies. In the name of Jesus, you will never leave the will of God for your life due to wrong counsel from people who do not mean well for you. The Bible says in Psalm 140 verse 8, The Lord will not grant the desires of the wicked and he will not promote their evil devices so that they will not be exalted. I decree over you that all the evil words the wicked ones have spoken against you will not stand because the Lord will not permit it. In the name of Jesus, I decree that you will never be made useless in life by the enemy's evil pronouncements against you. In the name of Jesus, I decree that all the negative words people have said to you in the past that have kept you in a circle are annulled. In the name of Jesus, walk in the will of God for your life. I decree that only God's counsel for you will stand. In the name of Jesus, I decree that you will not enter wrong agreements with people unknowingly through the words of your mouth. By the power in the name of Jesus, I pray for you that you would never become an object of ridicule to the enemies. I pray for you that divination and incantation made against you shall not stand because you are a seed of Abraham. In the name of Jesus, I pray that anyone given wrong advice to your destiny helpers is rendered foolish. The word of God says in Michael 2.1, Walk to him who scheme iniquity and work out evil on their beds. When morning comes, they do it, for it is in the power of their hands. I decree that all the evil counsels of the evil ones made against you and your family is put to null and void in the name of Jesus. Just like the evil pronouncements made by Haman to the children of Israel backfired on him, I decree that all the evil pronouncements made by the evil ones will backfire on them and their negative pronouncements will work in your favor. In the name of Jesus, I decree that you will never be paralyzed by the negative pronouncements of the powers of darkness against you. By the power and the blood of Jesus, I wash away all the negative words people have said to you in the past that is impeding your progress in life. By the power of the Holy Ghost, I pray for you that the Holy Spirit helps you to tame your tongue. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you that you will not expose yourself to the wicked ones via your words. One of the worst things that can happen to any man is when he doesn't have a bearing on his life. The devil loves it when people roam about aimlessly like a vagabond. His ultimate goal is to see that God's plan for man does not manifest. You're exempted from this. You can never be distracted because you have the Holy Spirit in you who will always lead, direct and comfort you. The Bible says in Matthew 18, 18, that whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven and whatever you lose on earth will be loosed in heaven. Maximize the authority you have in Christ and put the devil and his minions in their place. In the name of Jesus, I decree over you that you will never be distracted by the evil ones. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that all evil friends disguised to be good ones sent by the devil to make you distracted are put to shame. I decree by the power in the name of Jesus that you will always do the right thing and at the right time. I also decree over you that you would not waste your time doing things that the Lord didn't send you in the name of Jesus. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that the plans of the evil ones to make you confused as touching steps and decisions you should take are put to null and void. In the name of Jesus, I decree that you would not leave the will of God for you.
by the power in the blood of Jesus I shield you from the attacks of the devil to make you useless in life the word of God says in Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 1 that there is a time for a purpose under the heaven I decree over you that you will walk in God's time and for you and the plans of the devil and his agents to make you stray from his time in is an order in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus I decree over you that you will not make a costly mistake that will affect your destiny by the power in the name of Jesus I decree that you will not miss the mark God has said for you due to your selfish ambition I pray for you that you are safe and secured in the secret place of the highest from the prying eyes of the evil ones who want you to be destitute and a nuisance in the name of Jesus I pray that all members of your family will not be distracted in their journey to the fulfillment of their destinies by the power in the name of Jesus I pray for you that the enemies who want you to make a costly mistake that will affect your business are put to shame in the name of Jesus the name of the Lord is a strong tower the righteous runs into it and is saved I pray for you that the name of Jesus will always shield you from distracting people by the power in the name of Jesus I pray for you that you will always know the right people to mingle with that will help you not to be distracted I pray for you that the Word of God would always keep you in check anytime you are straying from God's will for your life in the name of Jesus I decree that all I hear to fell like friends in your life leave you this instant by the power in the name of Jesus I decree over you that you will not give attention to the forces of darkness whispering into your ears to leave the original plan of God for your life in the name of Jesus I decree that God will always avenge you of all your adversaries who want to distress you at the mention of the name of Jesus every knee must bow and every tongue must confess that Jesus is Lord I therefore decree over you that all tongues that have sent projections at you to make you lose focus of who you are and where you're going all can damned in the name of Jesus I decree over you that whether the devil and his cohorts like it or not you will fulfill your God-given destiny I decree that the calling and the mandate of God upon your life will be evident for all to see in the name of Jesus I decree that the Holy Spirit would always keep you in check and your sight is keen like never before I decree over you that you will not burn out doing things that you are not supposed to do in the name of Jesus one of the worst things that can happen to any man is when he doesn't have a bearing on his life the devil loves it when people roam about aimlessly like a vagabond his ultimate goal is to see that God's plan for man does not manifest you're exempted from this you can never be distracted because you have the Holy Spirit in you who will always lead, direct and comfort you. The Bible says in Matthew 18, 18 that whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven and whatever you lose on earth will be loosed in heaven. Maximize the authority you have in Christ and put the devil and his minions in their place. In the name of Jesus, I decree over you that you will never be distracted by the evil ones. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that all evil friends disguised to be good ones sent by the devil to make you distracted are put to shame. I decree by the power in the name of Jesus that you will always do the right thing and at the right time I also decree over you that you would not waste your time doing things that the Lord didn't send you in the name of Jesus by the power in the name of Jesus I decree that the plans of the evil ones to make you confused as touching steps and decisions you should take are put to null and void in the name of Jesus I decree that you would not leave the will of God for you by the power in the blood of Jesus I shield you from the attacks of the devil to make you useless in life the Word of God says in Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 1 that there is a time for a purpose under the heaven 
I decree over you that you will walk in God's timing for you. And the plans of the devil and his agents to make you stray from his time in is an order in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I decree over you that you will not make a costly mistake that will affect your destiny. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that you will not miss the mark God has set for you due to your selfish ambition. I pray for you that you are safe and secured in the secret place of the highest from the prying eyes of the evil ones who want you to be destitute and a nuisance. In the name of Jesus, I pray that all members of your family will not be distracted in their journey to the fulfillment of their destinies. By the power in the name of Jesus, I pray for you that the enemies who want you to make a costly mistake that will affect your business are put to shame in the name of Jesus. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous runs into it and is saved. I pray for you that the name of Jesus will always shield you from distracting people. By the power in the name of Jesus, I pray for you that you will always know the right people to mingle with that will help you not to be distracted. I pray for you that the word of God would always keep you in check anytime you are straying from God's will for your life in the name of Jesus. I decree that all Ahitophel like friends in your life leave you this instant. By by the power in the name of Jesus, I decree over you that you will not give attention to the forces of darkness whispering into your ears to leave the original plan of God for your life. In the name of Jesus, I decree that God will always avenge you of all your adversaries who want to distress you. At the mention of the name of Jesus, every knee must bow and every tongue must confess that Jesus is Lord. I therefore decree over you that all tongues that have sent projections at you to make you lose focus of who you are and where you're going are condemned in the name of Jesus. I decree over you that whether the devil and his cohorts like it or not, you will fulfill your God-given destiny. I decree that the calling and the mandate of God upon your life will be evident for all to see. In the name of Jesus, I decree that the oldest the spirit would always keep you in check and your sight is keen like never before. I decree over you that you will not burn out doing things that you are not supposed to do in the name of Jesus. As believers, we are positioned to flourish and experience breakthrough in all areas of our life because Jesus became poor so that we will be rich. He paid the price for our breakthrough completely on the cross. The only thing left now is for you to walk in the breakthrough from struggles he has made available for you. Remember that a new man or woman in Christ does not have to toil and sweat hard before he or she succeeds. The toiling and sweating hard died with your old man. Tell yourself this. I am positioned for a breakthrough. I never labor hard and get little results. I flourish like the tree planted by the riverside. As we will be making these prayers together, do it in faith knowing that you will get an answer to all of them. In the name of Jesus, I decree that you will not labor hard in vain and then another man eat of it. I decree over you the struggles have ended in your life. In the name of Jesus, by the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that there is no wasted effort for you. I decree that you will experience the breakthrough of the Lord in all areas of your life. In the name of Jesus. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that all your efforts will never fall to the ground. In the name of Jesus, I decree that the resurrection power rests on everything dead in your life. I decree that all your dreams, visions and goals receive the breath of God and they come to life in the name of Jesus. I decree that you will overcome all obstacles on your path to greatness. In the name of Jesus, I decree that the spirit of the Midianites, the steel harvest is bound and cast into the Hades. 
In the name of Jesus, I decree that you will be a tree planted by the riverside, whose leaves are evergreen and produce its fruits in due season. Take two. In the name of Jesus, I decree that you'll be a tree planted by the riverside, whose leaves are evergreen and produces its fruit in due season. I decree that you will not be impatient and miss your day of breakthrough in the name of Jesus. I decree that all the powers of darkness that are withstanding your breakthrough financially are scattered in the name of Jesus. The word of God says in Deuteronomy chapter 28 that you will be head and not the tail. I decree that you are the head in all facets of life. You are never behind in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I decree that you will never be behind shadow and ahead of your time. You will walk in God's perfect timing for you. I decree that all the resources that are needed for your breakthrough to manifest are provided now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I decree that your God-ordained helper heart is troubled until he helps you just like the way the heart of Azarus was troubled in the case of Mordecai and he caused a change in Mordecai's story. I decree that you will not beg for men to help you. You will attract the favor of men to your side because you are shielded with favor in the name of Jesus. I pray for you that all the members of your family will walk in breakthrough and prosperity in the name of Jesus. I pray for you that an end has come to struggles, pain, shame and disgrace in your life and family. I speak peace to every storm raging in your family and your life in the name of Jesus. I decree that all you need to fulfill destiny are provided for. In the name of Jesus, I decree that you will always see possibilities even when others are seen impossibilities. I decree that you will receive a divine idea that will turn your financial story around in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I decree that wherever you have been rejected, you will be accepted because you are accepted in the beloved. I pray for you that you will not leave the path to your breakthrough due to wrong counsel in the name of Jesus. I decree over you that you will know the will of God for your life per season and time. By the power in the name of Jesus, I release the angel of your breakthrough and prosperity. I put them to work this instant. I decree that they will cause money and resources to come to you. I decree that you will not be confused at touching the kind of business and skill to engage that will cause a major breakthrough in your life in the name of Jesus. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that all the years you have lost and all resources that were stolen from you are restored to you in a hundredfold. There is no weapon formed against you that shall prosper. No matter how the enemies come against you, you have this confidence that they will flee before you in seven ways. The greatest weapon at your disposal is discomforting the devil and his cohorts in the name of Jesus. Do not be doubtful when you call upon the name of Jesus because the Bible says in Romans 10, 13, that anyone that calls upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. When you know this, you will stand firm in the victory that you have in Christ Jesus. The Bible says in Job 22, 28, that you shall decree a thing on earth and it will be established to you a light will shine upon your parts. This is the right time to maximize the authority that you have been given when you became a new man in Christ. As I will be making these declarations over your life, affirm in faith knowing that you have victory over all the devil's devices. In the name of Jesus, I decree that all the weapons of the enemies targeted at you are rendered non-effective. I decree that you are shielded in the hollow of God's hand and you are saved from the attacks of the evil ones in the name of Jesus. Your life is hidden in Christ and Christ in God. I decree that no bullets of the enemy would get to you because 
your life is hidden in Christ. I decree that all the types of missionaries of the evil ones used to send projections at you are destroyed in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I decree that you dwell in the secret place of the highest and you abide under the shadow of the Almighty. By the power of the Holy Ghost, I decree that confusion is sent to the camp of the enemies who have devised your hurt in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I decree that a thousand will fall at your side and ten thousand at your right hand, but it shall not come near thee. I decree that even though you walk through the valley of the shadow of death, you will fear no evil, for God is with you. His rod and his staff comfort you. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that the love of God will keep you safe and secured from the devices of the wicked ones in the name of Jesus. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that the bullet of fear is shot at you to demoralize you and make you confuse and life misses you. In the name of Jesus, I decree that the arsenal of evil ones is set ablaze by the Holy Ghost. The Bible says in Exodus 14, 14, that the Lord will fight for you and you shall hold your peace. I decree that you will no longer lose any battle because the God of vengeance will fight all your battles for you in the name of Jesus. I pray for you that you will not be messed up by the weapons of the enemies in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I decree that the bullets fired at any of your loved ones will not hit the mark. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous runs into it and is saved. I decree that the name of Jesus would always be your hiding place against all the attacks of the wicked ones. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that you would never be bruised and injured by the weapons of the enemies. The Bible says in Psalm 41 verse 2, that the Lord will protect you and keep you alive. You shall be blessed and he will not hand you over to the desire of the enemies. I decree over you that the Lord will protect you for the rest of your life and he will never hand you over to the desire of your enemies in the name of Jesus. I decree over you that the Lord will keep you from the hand of of wicked one and he will also preserve you from violent men who have proposed in their hearts to cause you to fall. I decree over you that the Lord will preserve your soul in the name of Jesus. I decree that the Lord will pull you out of the net which they have laid for you and the Lord would always be your strength. I decree that the Lord will bring you out from among your enemies he will lift you up above those who rise against you and he will also rescue you from the violent men. I decree that the Lord would hide you from the secret counsel of evildoers and from the turmoil of those who do iniquity. I pray for you that you will not be turned by the teeth of the wicked ones in the name of Jesus. As believers, we are positioned to flourish and experience breakthrough in all areas of our life because Jesus became poor so that we will be rich. He paid the price for our breakthrough completely on the cross. The only thing left now is for you to walk in the breakthrough from struggles he has made available for you. Remember that a new man or woman in Christ does not have to toil and sweat hard before he or she succeeds. The toiling and sweating hard died with your old man. Tell yourself this. I am positioned for a breakthrough. I never labor hard and get little results. I flourish like the tree planted by the riverside. As we will be making these prayers together, do it in faith, knowing that you will get an answer to all of them. In the name of Jesus, I decree that you will not labor hard in vain and then another man eat of it. I decree over you the struggles have ended in your life. In the name of Jesus, 
by the power in the name of Jesus I decree that there is no wasted effort for you I decree that you will experience the breakthrough of the Lord in all areas of your life in the name of Jesus by the power in the name of Jesus I decree that all your efforts will never fall to the ground in the name of Jesus I decree that the resurrection power rests on everything dead in your life I decree that all your dreams visions and goals receive the breath of God and they come to life in the name of Jesus I decree that you will overcome all obstacles on your path to greatness in the name of Jesus I decree that the spirit of the Midianites, the steel harvest is bound and cast into the Hades. In the name of Jesus, I decree that you will be a tree planted by the riverside whose leaves are evergreen and produce its fruits in due season. Take two. In the name of Jesus, I decree that you'll be a tree planted by the riverside whose leaves are evergreen and produces its fruit in due season. I decree that you will not be impatient and miss your day of breakthrough in the name of Jesus. I decree that all the powers of darkness that are withstanding your breakthrough financially are scattered in the name of Jesus. The word of God says in Deuteronomy chapter 28 that you will be head and not the tail. I decree that you are the head in all facets of life. You are never behind in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I decree that you will never be behind shadow and ahead of your time. You will walk in God's perfect timing for you. I decree that all the resources that are needed for your breakthrough to manifest are provided now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I decree that your God-ordained helper heart is troubled until he helps you just like the way the heart of Azarus was troubled in the case of Mordecai and he caused a change in Mordecai's story. I decree that you will not beg for men to help you. You will attract the favor of men to your side because you are shielded with favor in the name of Jesus. I pray for you that all the members of your family will walk in breakthrough and prosperity in the name of Jesus. I pray for you that an end has come to struggles, pain, shame and disgrace in your life and family. I speak peace to every storm raging in your family and your life in the name of Jesus. I decree that all you need to fulfill destiny are provided for. In the name of Jesus, I decree that you will always see possibilities even when others are seeing impossibilities. I decree that you will receive a divine idea that will turn your financial story around in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I decree that wherever you have been rejected, you will be accepted because you are accepted in the beloved. I pray for you that you will not leave the path to your breakthrough due to wrong counsel in the name of Jesus. I decree over you that you will know the will of God for your life per season and time. By the power in the name of Jesus, I release the angel of your breakthrough and prosperity. I put them to work this instant. I decree that they will cause money and resources to come to you. I decree that you will not be confused at touching the kind of business and skill to engage that will cause a major breakthrough in your life in the name of Jesus. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that all the years you have lost and all resources that were stolen from you are restored to you in a hundredfold. Let us begin to thank God for answering our prayers. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. I urge you to drop your prayer requests and testimonies in the comment section. God bless you. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel.
God's earnest desire for you and me is for us to make progress in all areas of our lives. 3rd John 1 and 2 says that God wishes above all things that we prosper and be in health even as our souls prosper. God wants the best for you, but the devil wants you to remain in the spot because he hates it when God's children make progress. The yoke of stagnation in your life and family will be broken today, whether the devil likes it or not. Because the anointing of God that destroys all forms of yokes will flow through you and break it. Now the word of God also says in Job 22 verse 28, You will decree a thing on earth and it will be established to you and light will shine upon your ways. As we will be praying together, proclaim the prayers with faith knowing that you will get the answers to your prayers. So let us pray. In the name of Jesus, I decree that every yoke of stagnation the enemies have placed upon you is destroyed. All limitations that you have placed upon yourself unconsciously are revoked now in the name of Jesus. And in that mighty name, I pray that all the powers of darkness that want you to go around in a circle are arrested and sent to the abyss. I decree that in any area of your life you are experiencing stagnation, those areas receive the speed of the Holy Ghost even now in the name of Jesus. I pray that you will move with the speed of the Holy Ghost in accessing all that God has prepared for you in the name of Jesus. Those years you have lost due to the yoke of stagnation, the devil and his cohorts have placed upon you are restored to you in sevenfold. I speak forth life to those dry bones in your life and I decree that the life of God will quicken them in the name of Jesus. Job 17 9 says that the righteous will hold to his ways and he who has clean hands will grow stronger and stronger. I pray for you that you will grow stronger and stronger since you are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. The word of God says in Psalm 84 verse 5, blessed is the man whose strength is in his God and whose heart are the highways to Zion. I therefore pray for you that you will be strengthened daily to make progress in the name of Jesus. Psalm 92 verse 12 says that the righteous will flourish like the palm tree. He will grow like the cedar in Lebanon. From today you will begin to flourish like the tree planted by the riverside and you will experience spontaneous growth in all areas of your life in the name of Jesus. Proverbs 4 18 says that the parts of the righteous are like the light of the dawn that shines brighter and brighter even unto the perfect day. In the name of Jesus, I pray that all you lay your hands to do will experience growth and you will make daily progress and you will never experience stagnation again in the mighty name of Jesus. And by the power in that name, there is no wasted labor for you any longer. The word of God says that you will be the head and not the tail. I therefore decree and pray for you that you will begin to manifest the attitude of being the head in all ramification. I break and I shatter all the yokes of stagnation that are making you work hard, yet there is nothing to show for it in the name of Jesus. I decree that you will be fruitful in all areas of your life. You would no longer experience barrenness, stagnation and unfruitfulness in the name of Jesus. I speak for life to those dead things in your life in the name of Jesus. You will no longer remain on the spot or lag behind. The Lord will show himself as strong and powerful on your behalf and he will give you the strength to soar high above all forms of stagnation in the name of Jesus. I decree that you will no longer labor hard for another man to eat. You will be the first partaker of your labor in the name of Jesus. I speak for light to every darkness in your life and family in the name of Jesus. By the power of that name, I scatter all the gatherings of the evil ones that have sworn to keep you on the spot. Whether the devil likes it or not, he and his agents, they would no longer 
keep you in one place because you will be fruitful you will be productive and you will exercise the dominion mandate in the name of jesus there is no longer stagnation in your business or your job in the name of jesus and i stand on the word of god and i decree that you would never know better yesterday in jesus name you will no longer be stagnant financially i pray in all areas of your life that you are experiencing stagnation you will gain supernatural speed and you will recover those things that you have lost and you will also outrun those that are ahead of you in the name of jesus i pray for you that the oil of promotion is resting upon you now and you're experiencing promotion in all facets of your life in the name of jesus i pull you out of every pit of stagnation the enemies have kept you the lord is turning your life around for good and men will come and celebrate with you in the name of jesus by the power in that name i decree that you will begin to lay gold as dust and the lord will replace the garment of heaviness for gladness for you in jesus mighty name i know and i have this assurance in my spirit that you cannot experience hardship in all facets of your life why did i say this the simple reason is that the Bible says in Isaiah 53 verse 5b that the chastisement of your peace was upon him. And verse 7 of the same chapter said, He was also oppressed and afflicted for your sake. So you cannot be in slavery or experience hardship because the price for you to experience ease and freedom was paid in full by Christ. Know this rest in it and also enforce it in the place of your confessions and prayers as i will be making these decrees and prayers for you ensure you join your faith with mine as we enforce the freedom and victory that you have in christ i decree over you that you no longer experience hardships in all areas of your life in the name of jesus by the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that an end has come to working hard and nothing to show for it. In the name of Jesus, I decree that all the powers of darkness that have sworn to frustrate all your efforts are brought to book. The word of God says in Colossians 2 verse 14 that Christ has wiped out all the handwriting of requirements that were against you which was contrary to you. It took them out of the way, having nailed them to the cross. I decree that all the evil handwritings that your forefathers have appended the signature to ignorantly would not affect you because you are a new man in Christ now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I decree that you have overcome the sufferings there are in the world. I decree that you're exempted from hardship that are prevalent in your community in the name of Jesus. I decree that when others are saying there is a casting down, you will say there is a lifting up. I decree that you will excise your victory over poverty and penury in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I decree that you will not struggle before you eat. Rather, you will get bountiful results from your little inputs. By the finished work of Christ, which was stated clearly in Revelation 5.12, I decree that you operate in power, riches, wisdom, strength, honor, glory and blessing. The Bible says in Isaiah chapter 60 verses 1 to 2 that you have arisen and you are shining for the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth and deep darkness the people, but the Lord will arise over you and his glory shall be seen upon you. In the name of Jesus, I decree over you that irrespective of the economic hardship that is happening around you, you will not be a part of it because the glory of the Lord will radiate through you in the name of Jesus. I decree over you that you will lay down gold as dust 
and the Lord will give you beauty for ashes and it will give you double honor for shame in the name of Jesus I decree that you are no longer subjected to slavery because you have not been given the spirit of bondage again to fear but a spirit of adoption wherein you can cry Abba Father by the power in the name of Jesus, I set you free from every chain of limitation the wicked ones have placed on you. In the name of Jesus, I decree that your mind is enlarged and the abundance of the sea is converted to you. I decree that you will lend to nations. You are a giver and not a borrower in the name of Jesus. I pray for you that you will no longer keep yourself in bondage and hardship by the words of your mouth which negate the will of God for you. In the name of Jesus, I decree that the love of God will place you above all limitations and hardships that are prevalent in your lineage. I pray for you that the Lord will give you a powerful idea that will turn your life around just like he gave Jacob one and made him wealthier than his uncle. I decree over you that you will no longer struggle in all areas of your life. Rather, you will be like a tree planted by the riverside whose leaves are evergreen and bring forth its fruits in due season. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that you will not die prematurely by hardships and struggles. I decree over you that you are free indeed from every generational curse that has placed your life in a circle that has also limited you. In the name of Jesus, I pray that you make progress in all ramifications and you excel more than contemporaries. I decree that you are the head and not the tail. You are above and never beneath in the name of Jesus. Let's begin to thank God for answering all our prayers. In the name of Jesus, we have prayed. Amen. I want you to beat your hand on your chest this instant and tell yourself, I can never be poor because Jesus became poor so that I will be rich and I'm also a seed of Abraham. Abraham was never poor, hence I can never be poor. Saying this will remind you of how you are blessed already in Christ. You can never be poor even if there is poverty in your lineage because you are a new man in Christ. You have been redeemed from the curse of the law because Christ became a curse for you so that you will be called blessed. We'll be making these declarations together as we do that. Please affirm all the words decreed over you with faith. The Bible says in Job 22 verse 28, you will decree a thing on earth and it will be established to you and light will shine upon your path. Do not take these prayers and decrees casually because after this, you will come back here testifying of the Lord's goodness and I can see your life turning around for good. In the name of Jesus, I decree that the siege of poverty over you is lifted. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that powers of darkness withstanding your financial turnaround are exposed and put to shame. In the name of Jesus, I decree that you will not die in penury. I decree that there is wealth transferred to you. You possess the hidden treasures of darkness. In the name of Jesus, I decree that throughout this year, what you will hear is good news. I decree that the angel of prosperity is put to work. Now, you will work tirelessly in ensuring the resources come to you. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that all the plans of the enemies to frustrate all your efforts, to break through, fall to the ground. The word of God says in Psalm 35, 27 C, that the Lord is interested in the prosperity of his servants. You are a son and daughter and also a servant of the highest. Therefore, you operate in prosperity. I decree that you are anointed with the oil of gladness above your brethren. This will make you stand out for excellence among your contemporaries. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that you will be so wealthy 
that nations will come to lend from you. In the name of Jesus, I pray that the Lord will put a new song into your mouth and you will radiate the glory of the Lord in your business and skill. I decree over your business that it is flourishing and prospering in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I decree that you'll be fruitful from now even till your old age. By the power in the blood of Jesus, I decree that the blood of Jesus is upon your forehead and it exempts you from failure, disgrace, stagnation, backwardness and misfortunes. I decree the kings will minister to you and they will come to the brightness of your rising in the name of Jesus. I decree that you will be ahead of your enemies in all areas. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that you will spread good news and not bad news. In the name of Jesus, I pray that the goodness and mercy of the Lord are following you all the days of your life. I decree in the name of Jesus that the power to get wealth is at work in you and you will sustain generational wealth. In the name of Jesus, I decree that no member of your family will die prematurely. They will all live to declare the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. In the name of Jesus, I decree that the Lord will raise you from the dust and set you atop a hill for the world to see. I decree that you have all sufficiency in all things and that you lack nothing good. I pray for you that the Lord will open to you his good treasury. The heavens would give rain to your land in its season and he will also bless the works of your hands in Jesus' name. The Bible says in Ecclesiastes 10, 19, the money answers all things. I decree that you make money in abundance this year and for the rest of your life in Jesus' name. The forces of darkness work tirelessly so as to frustrate your efforts. They want you to work like an elephant and eat like an ant. As children of God, we are to be discerning enough to know the will of God for us as regards our finance. Do not be a party to those who think that they are comfortable struggling financially. We have to take what is rightfully yours. Do not give a place to the devil and his cohorts to frustrate your financial impute. The Word of God says in Job 22, 28, You will decree a thing on earth and it will be established to you and light will shine upon your path. It is time for you to war with the Word of God against the forces of darkness bent to frustrate your financial effort. Join your faith with mine as I make these prayers and decrees over you and your finance. I decree in the name of Jesus that you walk in financial freedom all the days of your life. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree over you that you will not labor hard and not get tangible results from your labor in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I bind all the powers of darkness that want you to go around begging before you eat. I come against the evil ones that want you to remain in the valley all the days of your life. 3 John 1, 2 says, God wishes above all things that you prosper and be in good health even as your soul prospers. I decree that you will prosper in all ramifications in the name of Jesus. The word of God says in Isaiah 1, 19, if you are willing and obedient, you will eat the good of the land. In the name of Jesus, I decree that you will be willing and obedient and in turn, you will eat the good of the land in the name of Jesus. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree over you that you will be head and not the tail in all areas of your life. The Bible says in Deuteronomy 8, 18, You shall remember the Lord your God, for it is he that gives you power to get wealth. I decree that the power to get wealth is released to you. And as you make wealth, you will not forget God in the name of Jesus. I decree that you will walk in financial prosperity and abundance. You will end to nations and you will never borrow in the name of Jesus. By the power in the name of Jesus, I pray for you that the wealth that God would give to you would never bring sorrow to you. 
in the name of Jesus I decree that you will be helped and favored by God and by men I decree over you that you will get a divine revelation that will turn your finance around in the name of Jesus the word of God says that he that is planted in the courts of God shall flourish and still bring forth fruit in their old age I pray for you that you will be planted in the course of God and you will still bring productive and you will still be productive even till your old age in the name of Jesus. In Jesus name I decree that all that the enemies told from you in the past are returned sevenfold. I decree that you will not lack help when you need one. I decree that the Egyptians that troubled you financially yesterday will not be seen no more by you. I decree that you will be blessed and you will also be a blessing to others around you. In the name of Jesus, I decree that you will not be a prince that will walk. You will ride on chariots. The word of God says in John 10, 10, the devil comes not but to steal, kill and destroy. But the son of man has come to give you life and to give you more abundantly. I decree that you will walk in the life that God has breathed in your finance in the name of Jesus. I decree that you will be ahead of the wicked ones that want you to beg from them before you eat in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I decree that you would never be stranded financially. By the power in that name, I scatter all the forces of darkness that want to frustrate your business or your job. I thank you, Lord, for answering all our prayers. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Miracles are supernatural occurrences that are beyond human comprehension. God often shows his children his mightiness by doing miraculous acts for them. In the time of old, God showed the children of Israel many miracles that made them believe that he is not the same God that their close neighbors served. As long as you are a child of God, you are to work in the miraculous. Though sometimes the powers of darkness try to hinder miracles from getting to us, you need not worry about these powers because they have been trampled upon by Jesus when he died on the cross and rose again on the third day. He now gave us the same authority he used to conquer all the powers of darkness and he is assuring us that they dare not harm us. The Bible emphatically said in the book of Matthew 16, 19, that we have been given the keys of the kingdom. Whatever we bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatever we lose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Use the authority that you have in the name of Jesus. I will be making these prayers and decrees over you. Align your faith with mine to get results. In the name of Jesus, I decree that all the powers of darkness that are impeding your miracles from getting to you are scattered. I decree that all of your miracles that have been delayed will come to you now in the name of Jesus. I decree that the miracle that would turn your life around for good will happen right now and the devil and his cohorts will not be able to hinder it from coming to you. I decree that your miracles that have been overdue but is being delayed by the powers of darkness are released from their grip. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that you will experience the miracle of the Lord in all areas of your life. I decree over you that you will be a candidate of the Lord's miracle this season in the name of Jesus. I send the powers of darkness into the hobbies that have caged your miracles. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that in the areas of your life that you need the touch of God, you will experience a miracle in those areas. I decree that you will experience miracles that will silence all your mockers. In the name of Jesus, the word of God says that God will have mercy upon whom you will have mercy. I decree that you and your family are candidates for the Lord's mercy in the name of Jesus. 
I decree that all the forces of darkness that have ganged up to frustrate you from experiencing your miracle are scattered in the name of Jesus. I pray that you will not experience anything short of miracles. I decree that all the forces of darkness that have ganged up to frustrate you from experiencing your miracle are scattered in the name of Jesus. I pray that you will not experience anything short of miracles, even in this season, in the name of Jesus. I decree that you will not seek false miracles that would inhibit your progress in life. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that you will not fall prey to the hands of false prophets who are masters of doing false miracles. I decree over you that you will not live the will of God for you in the pursuit of deceits of the wicked ones that are disguised as miracles. You will make accelerated progress in all areas of your life in the name of Jesus. I pray for you that you and all members of your family will walk in the miraculous in the name of Jesus. I decree that you will wrought miracles that will make people give their lives to Christ. And in the name of Jesus, I decree over you that you will experience a miracle that will leave all your enemies in a state of confusion. And I pray for you that you will not be led astray by the wicked ones into traps that are disguised as miracles in the mighty name of Jesus. I decree that your marriage experience the miraculous this season. You will be living wonder to the world in the name of Jesus. I decree that the powers of darkness that are trying to hinder your destiny helpers from locating you are put into confusion in the name of Jesus. You will not seek in vain the miracles of the Lord. The Lord will always show you his miraculous side in the name of Jesus. As children of God, we must realize that there are spirits that are negative. Don't ignore them, but don't be afraid of them. There is a spirit that attacks the children of God when they are about to hit a milestone in their career, business or jobs. That spirit needs to be arrested because it is a very wicked one that doesn't easily give up. If you discover that on the verge of making a breakthrough, something bad happens that cuts short your joy, you should immediately seek the face of God and engage the power in the name of Jesus to triumph over these powers. The Bible says in Job 22, 28, you will decree a thing on earth and it will be established unto you and light will shine upon your path. You have the authority to say anything using the name of Jesus and it will be done to you. These demons that hinder you from getting the desired results, you crave are under your feet because you have the power to trample upon them and they cannot do anything about it. These prayers I will be releasing over you will incapacitate these powers of darkness and don't be casual about them. Let's pray. In the name of Jesus, I bind and cast powers that cause people and you particularly to fail at the edge of achieving success. I decree that the spirits that are at the junction of your breakthrough are rested by the hosts of heaven. I decree that the angel of the Lord would bind powers that are bent on making you frustrated as you make repeated efforts to hit the mark you have set for yourself. I decree that the forces of darkness that want to make you give up on the verge of your success and breakthrough bound in the name of Jesus. By the power in the name of Jesus, I bind every demon that wants you to labor in vain and want your labor to go unrewarded. I shoot for the arrows of God to destroy powers that are bent on frustrating all of your input and effort. I decree that you will no longer lag and you will not be stagnant again in all areas of your life. I pull you out of that obsession, suppression and oppression the devil and his cohorts have subjected you to. I decree that you and all the members of your family will achieve the goals that you have set for yourselves in the name of Jesus. I decree that the evil ones that have placed a siege on you destroyed and I decree that the siege they have placed on you lifted. 
by the power and the blood of Jesus, I nullify the evil mark of near success syndrome the enemies have placed on you. And I decree that you will gain the speed of the Holy Ghost that will help you to get results that will marvel you and the world at large. I pray and I declare that by the power in the name of Jesus that you are max for success. Breakthrough and progress by Jesus and his mark will be visible for the enemies to see. I decree that every chain that is holding you back from reaching your destination is broken, that you are moving forward. There is no longer backwardness for you in the name of Jesus. I decree that you will break free from every form of limitation placed upon you. I pray that you are insulated with the anointing of the Holy Ghost and I decree that yokes are destroyed right now in your life in the name of Jesus. You are no longer behind. You are ahead. You will no longer remain on the spot in all areas of your life. There will be visible progress for you in the name of Jesus. I decree that the powers of darkness that are subtly monitoring your progress are exposed and destroyed. In the name of Jesus, I decree that you are separated from progress and success. The devil and his cohorts would no longer impede your progress in the name of Jesus. I decree that the years that you have lost because you were always failing on the edge of success are restored to you in sevenfold in the name of Jesus. I decree that you will not stay in the valley, that the wicked ones have kept you in. You will rise and stand on the mountaintop because you are the light of the earth. I break all barriers that have been obstructing you from making significant progress in all areas of your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Colossians 2.14 says that Jesus Christ has wiped out all the handwriting that was against us which was contrary to us and he took them out of the way having nailed them to the cross. All the handwritings of ordinances that are against you include generational curses and patterns that are working contrary to the will of God for you. The Bible also says in 2 Corinthians 5, 17, that if any man is in Christ, he's a new creature. All things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. You are a new man, a new woman in Christ. So all generational patterns hold no water in your life. The word of God is right within you and in your mouth. The Bible says in Matthew 18, 18, that whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven and whatever you lose on earth shall be loose in heaven. Lose yourself free today from strange patterns that want to manifest themselves in your life and in your families. I will be making this prayers and decrees over you. Join your faith with mine so as to claim your victory today. In the name of Jesus, I decree that you are set free from all generational patterns that are working against the will of God for you. I decree that the blood of Jesus will make you untouchable from curses and demonic patterns. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that the Lord will not visit the sins of your fathers upon you. The Bible says in Galatians 3.13 that Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the Lord. He was made a curse for us because cursed is anyone that hangs upon the tree. I decree that all the demonic patterns that are running in your lineage are rendered useless by what Christ did on the cross for you in Jesus name. I decree that instead of curses, you will enjoy the blessings of God in sevenfold. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that affliction should not rise up the second time in your life in Jesus' name. I decree that you will not suffer for the iniquities of your fathers. The keys of the kingdom of God are with me and it, it is in the name of Jesus that I decree that all the demonic patterns the want to hamper the will of God for you are nullified in the name of Jesus. I decree that you will not be afflicted by sickness and ailments due to strange patterns that are running in your lightning. 
I decree that the law of the spirit of life that is in Christ has set you free from the law of sin and death in the name of Jesus. Isaiah 54 verse 17 says, No weapon fashioned against you shall prosper and any tongue that rises in judgment against you shall be condemned. I decree that all the weapons that were set up by the wicked ones against your lineage in times past the one to affect you now are destroyed in the name of Jesus. I decree that the Lord will bless you and his blessings will cancel every curse and pattern in your life in the name of Jesus. Because you are in Christ, all things have passed away. All things have become new. I decree that the newness of life that is in Christ that is at work in you will nullify all the demonic patterns that are still alive in your family in the name of Jesus. Whoever the Son of Man has set free shall be free indeed. I decree that you are free indeed from the curses and patterns that are in your lineage in the name of Jesus. I decree that you will not be limited and stagnated by demonic patterns in the name of Jesus. I decree that you will be held by God and the Lord will put a stop to oppression of any sort in your family in the name of Jesus. I decree that the Lord has redeemed you from destruction and also redeemed you from the pit of demonic generational patterns. I decree that the steadfast love of God, which is from everlasting to everlasting, will exempt you from demonic generational patterns that are in your lineage in the name of Jesus. I decree that you are walking in the newness of life that you have been given when Christ died and rose on the third day. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that you will not experience wasted labor in all areas of your life due to generational patterns in your lineage. I decree that you will come out from the valley of curses and oppression to the mountain of freedom in the name of Jesus. One thing the devil wants you to do is to focus more on him by sending distractions to you. He hates it when God gets the glory in your life. So you plus to ensure that you shift focus from God. Anytime you talk more about things that are not edifying, you make the devil happy. And he is a master at distorting the glory that is supposed to go to God, to himself. You are instructed to submit to God and resist the devil and he will flee from you. Do not focus on what the devil is doing. Focus on what God is doing per season and time with you. The Bible says in Mark 11, 24 that whatever you desire when you pray, believe that you have received them and you shall have them. Do not doubt the efficacy of God's word. Let's pray. In the name of Jesus, I decree that you receive the grace of God to not get distracted by the devil's scheme. I pray for you that you receive the spirit to be resilient and not back out easily. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray for you that you will not focus on what the devil is doing around you. Rather, your focus will be on the will of God. I pray for you that you will know the will of God for you at every season and time. By the power of the name of Jesus, I decree that you will not lose sight of what God is doing to you and for you. There is freedom for you against all the scheme of the enemies in the name of Jesus. I pray that you will walk in God's perfect will and not his permissive will. There is upward sensitivity for you in all areas of your life in the name of Jesus. I decree that you will not be insensitive to the promptings and the leadings of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus. I pray for you that you will not be confused as to knowing the will of God for you and your family in the name of Jesus. I pray that you will not be deceived by the antics of the devil and his cohorts. I pray that you will not be frustrated by the devil's schemes and plots. You will ascend to the height of 
not being carried away by the schemes of the devil and his cohorts. I pray for you that you will be ahead of the devil and his schemes in the name of Jesus. There is victory for you against all the schemes of the enemies in the name of Jesus. I pray for you that you will not be led astray by the schemes of the wicked ones. I decree that your gaze will always be on Jesus instead of the devil and his minions or doing around you in the name of Jesus. I pray for you that you will receive the grace to submit to God and resist the devil's schemes in the mighty name of Jesus. You will not be caught unaware by the devil and his agent's plots. I pray for you that you will be alive unto God and not unto the devil. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that you will stand firm in the will of God for you. That you will stand strong even in the face of persecution and trials in the name of Jesus. That you will not walk outside the path that God wants you to tread in the name of Jesus. I decree that you will not be deceived by the wrong association to leave the will of God for you in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for you. You will live to become what God wants you to become despite the trials, troubles and pains that the devil and his agents will send to you in the name of Jesus. I decree that you will be steadfast, immovable and always abounding unto the works of the Lord in the name of Jesus. I pray for you that your hope will remain fixed on Jesus and not on anything that the devil is doing around you to make you lose focus. I decree that you will not lose sight of who you are in Christ in Jesus name the grace of the Lord will abound much more in your life in all ramifications of your life in Jesus name the worst thing that can ever happen to any believer is when the believer walks outside of God's will for them as long as you are a child of God you need to be abreast with what God wants you to do per time and season. You should not be ignorant of the times. You should understand and know the will of God for you. Be like the children of Issachar who understood times. When you walk in God's will for you, you will derive maximum fulfillment and satisfaction. Let me also tell you that your purpose is in God and it is not in your ambitions or what people suggest to you. You are great, but this greatness will not materialize well if you do not align with God's will for you. The Bible says in Ephesians 1 17 and 18 that the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ may give you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him and that your eyes of understanding might be enlightened that you may know what is the hope of his calling. What are the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints? The scripture also sums up to the need for you to know the reason why you were created. We will be praying together as we unravel the will of God for you and enforce it. Let's pray. In the name that is above every other name, thank you, Father, for the grace to come to your throne boldly and obtain mercy. We come with the prayer knowing that your will for us is to prosper even as our souls prosper. And I decree that the will of God will be materialized in all areas of the lives of those that are listening to me. That they will not walk outside of God's will for them in the mighty name of Jesus. And I pray particularly to that person listening to me that from today, the will of God will gain preeminence in all areas of your life. I decree that the purpose you were created for will be unraveled to you in the mighty name of Jesus. And I decree that all distractions that will come at you, which will make you leave the will of God for you, will not come to you. 
I decree that the veil that is covering your eyes, not allowing you to see the will of God and the purpose God created you for, is removed in the name of Jesus. The scales in your eyes are falling off this instant in the mighty name of Jesus. And by the power that is in the name of Jesus, I decree that the will of God will become more real to you. The mercy of the Lord will help you in walking in the will of God for you. An unprecedented favor from all colors will find you and make it easy for you to fulfill purpose in the name of Jesus. I decree that the goodness and mercy of the Lord which will ease your journey in life will never run out in the name of Jesus. As you walk intentionally in the will of God for you today, the Lord will give you strength to do much more. And I decree that you will never be discouraged in the name of Jesus. I pray for you that you will surrender totally to God's will and purpose for you in the mighty name of Jesus. And all those God assigned helpers that have been strategically placed by him to help you as you walk towards the fulfillment of your purpose. I decree that they locate you and find you even now in the name of Jesus. You are discerning to know the will of God for you per time and season. And that is a decree in the mighty name of Jesus. Also, the will of God will supersede in your ambitions in Jesus name. I decree that you will not begin to walk late in the purpose God created for you. In the name of Jesus, I decree and I declare that every voice that will lead you astray outside the will of God is silenced now by the power in the name of Jesus. I decree that the will of God in your life will make you a living wonder. The plans of the wicked ones to frustrate the will of God for you are put into null and void in the name of Jesus. As you begin to walk in God's purpose for you, you will begin to find fulfillment and satisfaction even in life in the name of Jesus. I decree that God will arise and fight for you against all the forces of darkness that don't want you to be great. Sickness and premature death will not cut short the will of God for you in Jesus name and all the resources that you need to ease your journey in life are provided for now in the name of Jesus. I decree that you will arise and shine and no force of darkness will prevent you from shining in the name of Jesus. As believers, we are positioned to flourish and experience breakthrough in all areas of our life because Jesus became poor so that we will be rich. He paid the price for our breakthrough completely on the cross. The only thing left now is for you to walk in the breakthrough from struggles he has made available for you. Remember that a new man or woman in Christ does not have to toil and sweat hard before he or she succeeds. The toiling and sweating hard died with your old man. Tell yourself this. I am positioned for a breakthrough. I never labor hard and get little results. I flourish like the tree planted by the riverside. As we will be making these prayers together, do it in faith, knowing that you will get an answer to all of them. In the name of Jesus, I decree that you will not labor hard in vain and then another man eat of it. I decree over you the struggles have ended in your life. In the name of Jesus, by the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that there is no wasted effort for you. I decree that you will experience the breakthrough of the Lord in all areas of your life. In the name of Jesus, by the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that all your efforts will never fall to the ground. In the name of Jesus, I decree that the resurrection power rests on everything dead in your life. I decree that all your dreams, visions and goals receive the breath of God and they come to life in the name of Jesus. I decree that you will overcome all obstacles on your path to greatness. In the name of Jesus, I decree that the spirit of the Midianites, the steel, 
harvest is bound and cast into the Hades. In the name of Jesus, I decree that you will be a tree planted by the riverside, whose leaves are evergreen and produce its fruits in due season. Take two. In the name of Jesus, I decree that you'll be a tree planted by the riverside whose leaves are evergreen and produces its fruit in due season. I decree that you will not be impatient and miss your day of breakthrough in the name of Jesus. I decree that all the powers of darkness that are withstanding your breakthrough financially are scattered in the name of Jesus. The word of God says in Deuteronomy chapter 28 that you will be head and not the tail. I decree that you are the head in all facets of life. You are never behind in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I decree that you will never be behind shadow and ahead of your time. You will walk in God's perfect timing for you. I decree that all the resources that are needed for your breakthrough to manifest are provided now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I decree that your God-ordained helper heart is troubled until he helps you just like the way the heart of Azarus was troubled in the case of Mordecai and he caused a change in Mordecai's story. I decree that you will not beg for men to help you. You will attract the favor of men to your side because you are shielded with favor in the name of Jesus. I pray for you that all the members of your family will walk in breakthrough and prosperity in the name of Jesus. I pray for you that an end has come to struggles, pain, shame and disgrace in your life and family. I speak peace to every storm raging in your family and your life in the name of Jesus. I decree that all you need to fulfill destiny are provided for. In the name of Jesus, I decree that you will always see possibilities even when others are seeing impossibilities. I decree that you will receive a divine idea that will turn your financial story around in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I decree that wherever you have been rejected, you will be accepted because you are accepted in the beloved. I pray for you that you will not leave the path to your breakthrough due to wrong counsel in the name of Jesus. I decree over you that you will know the will of God for your life per season and time. By the power in the name of Jesus, I release the angel of your breakthrough and prosperity. I put them to work this instant. I decree that they will cause money and resources to come to you. I decree that you will not be confused at touching the kind of business and skill to engage that will cause a major breakthrough in your life in the name of Jesus. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that all the years you have lost and all resources that were stolen from you are restored to you in a hundredfold. Let us begin to thank God for answering our prayers. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. The Bible says in Proverbs 6.31, when a thief is caught and apprehended, he is to return the things he has stolen sevenfold. We're also told in Joel 2.25 that God will restore to us the years the locust has eaten and that we shall eat in plenty. Those years you thought you have wasted can be recovered. It doesn't matter how long. What matters is that God is ready to restore to you the years you have wasted either through your negligence or ignorance. Do not be bothered about your mates that are ahead of you. The Lord can give you a supernatural speed that will make you run ahead of them just like the way Prophet Elijah outran the chariots of Ahab. There is no limitation for you. There is progress for you. As far as God is concerned, you can be restored back. Psalm 23 verse 3a says that God restores your soul. He's ever ready to make you recover all the things that the wicked ones have stolen from you. 
You are God's battle axe and his weapon of war. He won't war for you if you do not give him permission. The Bible says in Exodus 14, 14, that God will fight for you and you will hold your peace. Life and death are in the power of your tongue. You have the authority to decree a thing and it will be established to you. How fast do you want God to restore to you the things the enemies have stolen from you? It all depends on the urgency of how you want it restored. I'll be making these decrees and prayers over you for God to restore all the things that you have lost. The only thing you need to do right now is to align your faith with mine as there is power in prayers done in the unity of hearts. I decree that all the years you have wasted either knowingly or unknowingly are restored back to you in sevenfold in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I forcefully collect all that the enemies have stolen from you. I decree that there is restoration of wonderful opportunities that you lost in the past. In the name of Jesus. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that you will not be backward. There is progress for you in all areas of your life. I decree that you would not be caught unawares by powers that steal and empty a man in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I decree that the promotion that was stolen from you is returned to you. I decree in the name of Jesus that there is restoration in your marriage and business. I decree that just like the way God restored to Job all that the devil stole from him after he prayed for his friends, you will be restored in like manner. I decree that you have overcome the world because you are born of God. The Bible says in 1 Peter 5.10, The God of all grace, who called you to his eternal glory in Christ, after you have suffered a little while, will himself restore you and make you strong, firm and steadfast. I decree that your sufferings would not be unrewarded as God will restore you in a hundredfold and also make you firm, strong and steadfast in the name of Jesus. I decree that there is restoration of resources you lost in the past. In the name of Jesus, I decree that you will return to the fortress of God as he is set to restore you in a double fold. I decree that there is perfect restoration for you. The Bible says in Jeremiah 29 11 that the thought that God has for you are thoughts of good and not of evil to give you an expected end. I decree that God's plan for your life will begin to manifest in the name of Jesus. I decree that your hearts would no longer be troubled as God is set to restore to you the years and the things you have lost. In the name of Jesus, I declare that you will restore your brethren that are caught in sin. You won't go around slandering them in the name of Jesus. By the power of the name of Jesus, I decree that there is restoration of love, joy and peace in your family. I decree that your love for God which has waxed cold is restored back better than the way it was. In the name of Jesus, you will be restored financially, materially and economically. And I decree that the Lord will heal you and bind up your wounds in the name of Jesus. Lord, I give you all the glory for answering our prayers. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Do not forget to drop your prayers in the comment section. I will be praying for you. I implore you to like, share and subscribe to our channel. The Lord richly reward you as you do that in Jesus name. Amen.